<laughs> Thank you. Oh, hello. How's it going? Everybody, nice to see you. How do I use a computer? Who knows? There we go. Hey, how's it going? I'm feeling pretty good. I got drunken noodles and some kind of curry. Uh, Beavis and hey, Beavis and Butthead starting this. Rolling for you. I didn't even watch the new Beavis and Buttheads, <laughs> but I Thank will. You. Thanks, Zap and Mr. Lambs and Dandai and Two Man Punch and Randy McNasty. Thanks, Shadow Witty. Mm. Capcom Direct and RE4 Demo After. Yeah, you guys got a lot of shit going on. What are you talking about? When is that? I want to know when the RE4 Demo comes out. I'm going to play it. Tomorrow? Really? What time? You think it's going to be... You think the event is going to announce that it's out now? That's That's very likely. The timing is right. Hey, what time? What's it? Like, a, is it really called Capcom Direct? <laughs> if I Google that, it's not going to work. What's it really called? Everything is not called Direct, is it? <laughs> it is? I don't believe you. Nintendo Direct, Sony Direct, Jeff Keighley Direct. Mm. Capcom Showcase? Well, do you guys know what time hey, to start? That's hype. At? smile that's really hype news you. you guys usually don't do that when i say what's going on you guys just talk about like stupid shit uh what did you say it's called capcom direct uh shredder is in carl i saw the trailer man call of duty they're going to hell those guys who make call of duty you know that that's bullshit yeah shredder is in call of duty Capcom Spotlight 2023. I'm not Googling that. Fuck you. Uh, March 9th, 2.30 p.m. Hey, do you think it's safe to write the script where I watched that with you? They released the demo. <laughs> I download it and play it right there. Ah, excuse me. That's pretty reasonable, right? It's not going to be that long. It's going to be like a 30-minute, hey, everyone, snap some fingers, Nintendo Direct, and then uh, and then I'll download it and play it. Cool. I'm in. Uh, yeah, and Shredder. And, you know, recently I eat the same thing every day, and then yesterday I got some really spicy-ass fucking food. And, yeah, I was Sigourney Weaver today. And then I ate more of it, so I'm still Sigourney Weaver. I got drunken noodles, and I got some kind of curry. I didn't even know what it was. I just got it, and it was really good. Let me look at what it was so I can recommend it. Hey, I'm going to tell you this shit now because people are going to ask later. You got to remember, okay, because I'm not going to be able to remember this. I got Penang. Penang curry. What the hell is that? It was super fucking good. As far as I'm <laughs> concerned, you. that means hella good. Penang curry. Poontang? Penang curry is amazing? Yeah, I know. I don't know what it is, but I got it, and it was so good. I still have a little left. That shit made my stomach hurt, though. But that's how you know it's good. Thanks, Naked Beekeeper and Sorry and Hyper Optics and Rolling for Waldo. Thanks, bros. Zap and Mr. Lambs. Hope everyone's feeling great. Hella good. <laughs> Thanks, Thank Boiling you. Cody. Thanks, bros. Did anybody start Ruthless yet? Somebody give me like a POB or something, dude. I don't know what to do. I'm going in completely blonde. The chat all recommended RF Jug, and I figure I already know how to do it. Um, I'm excited. You're level 14? Cool. Did you get anything cool? I think the theory is that if they make it so that nothing ever drops, then when anything drops, it's going to be hype. RF Jug Yawn. What do you recommend then, you hot magenta having pink named bitch? 
You probably are using RF Jug too, aren't you? You typed that shit, then put down the fucking keyboard and started using your RF Jug. Oh, you probably play with your keyboard. My bad. I didn't even think about that. Keyboard users. Anyway, what do you fucking recommend, you little bitch? Let me watch your stream for a second. See what kind of dope, innovative, and original shit you're using. You probably don't even play this game. Shoot that pink bitch. He's right, though. Uh, <laughs> yeah, RF you. is really sick, though. I like it a lot. It's one of my favorites. Ever since I first tried it, <laughs> I've at you. least done one RF build every league. Which is... It's probably my favorite. Mm, last time I tried Elementalist. Oh, yeah. I, this is it. MK Renisha Williams. Level 1 Hondo. Uh, it's pretty fun. It's big. Mm, let's see. <laughs> I've been naming my characters after characters from Reno 911. So I think today I'm going to name my Ruthless character MK Jim Dangle. Let me start it. Huh? Oh. Uh, Marauder, please. Hey! What are you looking yeah. at? Just started a new job. Here's your cut. Ooh. Okay. We offered you truth, uh, yet still you clasped Jim. your superstitious lies. Okay. You offered your service, yet you wasted your strength and defiance. Play. Right last. Uh, something else. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Stupid warning. Thank you. Uh, thanks, Moon Doggy. Whoa. Aren't you supposed to wake up on the shore? Did you notice I was already awake? Isn't that odd? I gotta remember the buttons. I've been playing D2 <laughs> lately. Weird. Beat this guy's ass. Ah. Thank you. Heavy Did strike. Hmm. Thanks, your old dad. What's up, man? Thanks for the tier two. Hey, you know I tried to host you, and it said like this guy doesn't want you to host Thank him you. or some shit. It gave me a warning, or like a not a warning, like a message. It said, like, this guy don't want you to host me, or whatever. Anyway, hey, thanks. Thanks, Ares fan, and Baghead, and Moon Doggy. A lot of the time, when I try to raid someone, I get a message. Like, it'll say, you've exceeded the maximum number of hosts for the day. Like, what the hell? I didn't even host anyone today. Or, like, um... Yeah, like that thing. I didn't even know you could... If I knew you could reject... Raids? I would have done that 10 years ago. <laughs> Thank you. I didn't know you could reject raids. That's sweet. You don't get a support gem here? I didn't get a support gem. No? Oh, I'm, I better make sure my filter... Get up in there, will you? There is no filter. <laughs> I guess you don't need a filter, huh? Anything that drops on the ground is made out of diamonds. I don't have a filter. <laughs> no need for a filter. There's nothing to filter. All right, bitch. Beat this guy's ass. Hey, it didn't auto-equip the gem. Hey, leave me alone for a sec. All right, now we can fuck around, bitch. Does this guy dress like uh, Kratos? I don't remember him looking like that. I don't remember him looking like Kratos. Beat his fucking ass. Fuck you. Ah. Beat his ass. Ah. Ah. <laughs> no, Thank you. Hey, what's up with all this missing? Oh, you know what I meant to ask you, chat? Hey, in D2 is a Zod rune a good trade? For a 5-5 five, five cold you. facet. Because someone... I have a Zod rune that dropped out of some guy's pocket. And no. Not this early. What does that mean? Who's it, who's it a bad trade for? Ow.
Oh, the Zod room is rune is rare but not valuable. Is that what you're saying? So like, no one's gonna give me that. <laughs> Thank oh. You. Ooh, I got gold. Look at that. Gold. What the fuck is gold? <laughs> Where does it say? Oh, it's right here. Gold can be spent at vendors. Gold. <laughs> Thank you. Never heard of that. Gold. Cool. I got gold. You can gamble with it? Get the fuck out. How? Oh, God. Oh, fucking shit. Uh, where are my fucking pages? Here we go. I'll just use this for now. Uh, currency. Okay. Put my gold in there. Oh, I guess it'll go in these miscellaneous ones. Uh, let's just sell this shit, right? Vendor it. What do you have to say? This is weird. Purchase items. Oh my god, look at this. Gold. Everything costs gold. Whoa. These prices are a ripoff. How much gold do I have? 19? 19 gold? What can I buy with 19? 50 gold for a wisdom scroll? Dude, what the fuck? 50 gold for a wisdom scroll? 150 for a... Holy shit. Man. Times are tough. What are you... Gamble for items! Gamble for items! Is this like deed? You can gamble for items. I wonder what the, the like, rates are. That's tight. Oh, uh-oh. Hey, this is probably a key decision, bros. For Ruthless, what are we getting here? Molten Strike Shield Crush. <laughs> Thank you. Choose wisely? I think none of them matter, right? Molten Strike for sure? Okay, I'll get it. Is that what you recommend I use now? Probably. Because Heavy Strike, Worst Strike. I'm also going to sell, like, how do you, what is it, square? Yeah. Sell this. Oh, they give you gold. Oh. How the fuck am I going to get wisdom scrolls? I have to buy them? Get the fuck out of here, dude. You can't get wisdom scrolls by just selling stuff. You don't? Oh, my God. Two gold, dude? Two? <laughs> Should I sell my heavy strike? For another gold? One gold? You gotta make new characters for more scrolls? Oh, I get three more when I make a new character. I'm selling it. Save that shit, it's... An oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. You couldn't... I wonder if vendor recipes still work. Maybe I can use that to create some shit. You know what I mean? Okay, I'm gonna put this in here just in case I think the idea with this mode is that you anything that falls on the ground is gonna be a Christmas miracle alright well I don't have a POB to follow so I think I'm just gonna go with this <laughs> uh oh fuck was that the right choice uh, I'll go with that did I already fuck up? It's good? Okay, good. I should have consulted you. You guys got anything cool going on? Man, there's so much going on all of a sudden. Tomorrow might be the Resident Evil 4 demo. I mean, I'm almost sexually aroused over that. That's so hype. That's fucking tight. Beat his ass. That was cool. Alright, so these guys are never gonna drop... Oh! 
One gold. I like gold. That's cool. Beat his ass. Shit's never gonna drop. Gold. Got some gold. It's 50 gold for one wisdom scroll. Barfield? What's Barfield? I never heard of that. Are you making a joke? If that guy's making a joke, ban him. I got some more gold. Oh, it wasn't a joke, it was a ty typo? Usually you're not supposed to, holy shit. You're not supposed to kill dudes like this this early, right? But, I mean, whatever, right? I don't know. You think I should skip this shit? It was not a typo? All right, then don't shoot him. But shoot the guy who said it's not a typo. I got some more gold. Ow, I think I'm on fire. Get it to me. So far, I haven't dropped more than one gold <laughs> at a time, I mean. Jack and Jill went up the hill both with a buck and a quarter. Jill came down with 250. Oh. I'm considering turning this shit off, finding out who you are, and dealing with you. I'm considering <laughs> Thank it. You. But because I want to have a good day, I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to tell you, next time, keep it shorter and less obnoxious. Please. Uh, thanks. Uh, Dice Man and Chief Zangief and Space, thanks for the tier 2. Thanks, Ahmed Adudi and TK Tags. And thanks, Hokey and Gigaton Punch and McBrewski, Chadias, Ares Fan number 1. Thanks. Thanks to Donnie's and Fango. Hey, Billy Hoyle. Thanks for the dollar dues. Thanks, Ares fan number one and Rival and everyone else. Thanks, bros. Yeah, I don't like disruptive shit, all right? And that means I don't like you. And if you think you could just give me $4 to behave like a bitch, well, that's a mistake. Anyway, thanks again. Hmm, I forgot what we were talking about before I got pissed. Uh, it's 420 at least. Yeah, that's true. But I mean, you know, you have to realize that I'd much rather have zero dollars and feel good. You know? Don't you think? What good is four dollars and twenty cents? You can't buy a smile with that. You know? Like, where can I buy a smile for $4.20? You can't do that. So, it's not, a, it's not a good trade. Got some gold. So, every item you pick up is worth one gold at least. I think I went the wrong way. <laughs> Thank you. Mm, thanks, Money Hoarder. Appreciate you. Mamma mia! Donating for luck, Buck. Thanks, smile, smile. Sure thing, amigo. I'll get to work on that right away. Ugh, there's a lot of enemies here, just a sec. Oh, wrong button. So you're telling me if I make a game that says Zod 455 Cold Facet, if I make that game, will I get that trade? Because when I made that game, I got a couple people coming in with four or five facets. And I was like, man, fuck you. And I didn't take it. Man, these fucking flamers. What am I gonna do about this bitch? Ah. Ah. Take that shit. Ah. Ow. Die. Ah. Excuse me. And now there's more dads getting involved. 
Ouch. Oh, I'm gonna die. Alright, move it. You gotta use the campfire to your advantage. Does the campfire do damage? <laughs> Fuck. I've been playing too much Bloodborne. Dude, this bitch is gonna kill me. Oh, there's two gold on the ground. Two gold. Okay, I got one flask charge. Ah, almost. Pendejo. Ah, I got her. Damn, she was rich. She had like fucking dude I got 30 gold are you serious 30 gold 20 more gold and I could get one wisdom scroll dude I'm in the money <laughs> thank you one wisdom scroll <laughs> thank you so far it's working you know like getting hype about anything that falls on the ground it's working because I'm hype over like three fifths of a wisdom scroll right now. <laughs> I'm pretty hype about that. I got a point. Yeah, this is a good mode to teach you to appreciate what you have. Uh, I guess I'm going to get this, right? Hey, uh, real quick. Can I get the chat room's approval on this decision? Since I don't have a POB to follow. I'm doing it. Thanks, Cotty and Dancing Dude and Job Searching Stoner. Hey, good luck, man. Uh, never give up. The, the, you know how jobs work, dude? Your dream job is right after you're about to give up. Trust me, that's how it works. Like the moment you're gonna give up, that's how you know now's the time to not give up. That's how it works. Anyway, good luck. <laughs> Thank you. Mm, thanks, old Dirty Weedian, McBrewski. Did I thank all of you? TK Tags, whatever. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Hope everyone's feeling great. This boss. Is this going to be like impossible? I didn't even think about that. How the fuck am I going to kill this guy? First death incoming? Uh oh. Really? Oh, there he is. Alright, let me clear out these pendejos first. Wow, he's fast. This is not going to go well. Uh, okay. Ow. I'm frozen! Oh, this is gonna be impossible! Oh. Oh. At least when you're close to him, he doesn't always do that ice move. Ow! Oh, I'm frozen, you little freezing sack of shit! Uh, come on, I'm fucking chilled! Ah! Ah! Give me your money! And the portal scroll? I'm rich. 
Did you see that? That was sick. Oh yeah, belt. Oh yeah, belt. Increased elemental damage. Hey, what do you think about increased elemental damage? Right? This is Molten Strike. Yeah, now we're talking. All right. Sounds good to me. So far, this mode's pretty tight. <laughs> I got gold. Gold. 53, that's my lucky number. Lucky number 53, dude? I got 53 gold. I'm gonna go back to town and see what I could spend it on. Oh! Look at my fucking health bar! What the fuck is this? How the hell did I just come to town and I don't have health? Diablo 2, dude. Get out of here. I want a Quicksilver, right? I want a Sub-Zero mask. You have to talk to the lady to refill your potions, I think. This is D2 mode. You can refill in town, you just have to talk to the merchant, just like in Diablo 2. And there's gold, just like in Diablo 2. Hey, I got an armor piece. I'm gonna wear it. Evasion, though? That's not worth it. It's not even gonna work. I'm gonna sell it. Thanks for streaming, Cuh. Yeah. Excuse me, thanks for liking my stream, Cuh. The fuck is this guy tagging me for no reason for? I'm pulling you over. Look, you have one previous ban and one timeout. Don't do that again now. Uh, thanks, Finna Nut Cheerios and Old Dirty Weedian. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, that's not a good record. I I almost just perma banned you. So, careful. Huh? Intruder alert. Nah. Hmm. There's just a message like that shows activity. But no big deal. Thanks, Eagle Eyed Panda. Shredder, dude. I saw Shredder in Call of Duty. That's ridiculous. Luck building in Ruthless is actually good. Yeah, I know about rarity, it makes sense. I'm excited to see how this goes. Hey, so you guys, uh, like, you don't think anyone will make that trade with me? In D2? I've been trying. Someone offered me a 4 or 5. Thanks, Picosti. Going in. This part's probably going to be my first death. But the chat said the other part was going to be. And I... Oh! Fucking guys! What the hell, dude? Yeah, this is trade. Trade enabled. Why? Uh, oh, do you mean... What'd you say? Are you talking about... Oh, fuck. I gotta be more... I gotta pay more attention to what I ask you so that I can read the answers right. Nah. I need to be really careful here. Really slow. I love bits. Man, every treasure chest is gonna be sick in this Thank mode. You. I like that. Wisdom scroll! 50 gold right there. Money in the bank. Wisdom scroll! Woo woo! That was hype. <laughs> hey, what are you looking at? <laughs> Man, that's cool. It's all a matter of fucking, like, uh, what's it a matter of? Per perspective? Perception? Whatever the fuck it's a matter of. You gotta appreciate what you got. Mm, thanks, Clement. Uh, requesting luck buff? Sure, man, you got it. Good luck. No problemo. You know, chat, anytime someone is granted a luck buff, you, everyone else gets it too. It's like a party buff. So all, everyone in the whole party gets it. That's how that works. I don't know if you read the instructions. But. 
Those are the rules. Including me, by the way. My luck goes up, too. Oh! Give me that. So everything that you ever pick up in this mode is always going to be worth one gold. So that's cool. Give me that. I want one gold. Watch out for these bitches. Thank you. Got to be real careful with them. Gem level up. Okay. I have uh, points to allocate. I got one gold from that. Sweet. Um, thanks, Macken Kosopo. Thanks, Ares fan number one. Going through COVID, blah, blah, blah. Hey, get COVID. Anyway, thanks. Uh, thanks, uh, Eagle Eye and everyone. <laughs> get COVID. Uh oh. Not good. Nice and easy. Don't want to get overwhelmed. Medium mana flask. Hey, so do vendor recipes work? Like three of the same type of flask will upgrade upwards to the next one and shit like that? Man, I hate asking questions and then not looking at the answer, but it's also one of the funniest parts of streaming. I subconsciously do that all the time. I'm going in here. Oh, it doesn't work in Ruthless? Oh, let me allocate my point. Uh, wrong button. Cool sound effects. Oh, I can use my Quicksilver. Okay. Uh, I want to get this point. Maximum life. Maximum spider. Subconscious instigating. The gimmick for this mode is that everything sells to vendors for gold. And enemies drop gold on the ground. And there's gold. That's the gimmick. It's a lot more like Diablo 2 than like regular PoE is, I guess. Due to the gold. But in the end, I think what that does is it probably makes this mode, Ruthless mode, better. Oh, maybe you don't even know what Ruthless mode is, huh? Uh, well, whatever, man. Fucking Google it, dude. Ruthless mode is like a low item drop rate mode, where nothing drops on the ground, and so when something does drop, you better appreciate it. This is like, uh, learn to appreciate what you have mode. Teaches you how to stop being a little bitch. Tekken fans need to fucking play this mode. They should make Ruthless with gold in Tekken so those motherfuckers can shut their mouth. For a change. Wow, these guys are buff. At least they're in a group. So I'm doing extra damage with the fireballs. Three gold. Damn, the gold count is going up. And that's what I like to see. Ow. They made it so that Quicksilver flasks only last two seconds in this mode. And there are no travel skills. So you can't teleport. Teleporting is not allowed in this shit. That's absurd. Oh, portal scroll! That's 50 gold. That's 150 gold. That's 150 <laughs> gold right there. Every one of these boxes I open could be a jackpot. This is the first rare. Oh boy. Extra life. Fucking splendid. <laughs>
Uh oh. If you guys are right about what you said about the Resident Evil 4 demo tomorrow, I feel like I'm really fucking excited. That's cool. But I don't know if you're right. You could be full of shit. Or you could be just like speculating or maybe one of your favorite YouTube streamers made a video on it or some shit and you're... Pass it on! You, did you hear, Ares? Some made-up shit. Fucking Shao Kahn leaked Mortal Kombat 12 on a fucking business call with Shang Tsung. Pass it on. Sub-Zero. Man, Sub-Zero and Tekken 8. Let's make that happen. That would be cool. Pass it on. I should allocate my skill point. Wow, that guy almost killed me. I cannot carry this. Uh-oh. You can't carry it. Well, why don't you just put something on then? Put this on. Oh, I have stuff. Put that on too. Put this on too. And put this on. Uh oh. I don't have any mana. Yeah, I'm having a great day. So far I feel like this mode is pretty fun. I like getting excited for nothing. <laughs> Ow! This could be my first death. So what are you supposed to do if your fucking flasks don't recharge? Oh, dude, this guy spawns enemies. Oh, this is gonna be great. This guy has a fucking energy sh How am I gonna do this? I don't think you could do this. He has a shitload of energy shield. Oh. And he spawns other dudes. And I have no fucking stuff. Cut that bitch off. Let's go. One love. Hey, one love. I don't know what to do about this guy. Fuck this quest. I have to give up. It can't be done. I mean, this is not a story quest, but how the fuck am I going to kill this guy? It just can't be done. <laughs> Thank you. You have to treat this mode like a completely different game. If you treat it that way, then it seems pretty fun so far. I'm enjoying it. I like the idea of... So the only reason I play these games is because I like the dopamine you get from something cool dropping. Right? Well, anything that fucking falls on the ground is gonna be cool in this mode. You know? Anything that happens is gonna be cool. Which is sweet. I think I'm gonna try to, I guess, go back to town. You only get res respect points? Do you mean respect? What are respect points? From who? The chap? San Andreas? Oh shit. We get respect. Cool. Street cred? The streets of Ray class? Do I want this? Do I want life regen? 8%? You won't be able to reallocate it later. That's the thing you gotta think about. Regen, you think? Here I have the option of 0.8% life regen or armor and flat is better. I think flat is better too because this is a juggernaut. You want armor in the end. So no matter what, uh, I think this is the play. Especially if you consider that one single regret point is probably worth a fortune in this game or mode. Yeah, I'm sell all this shit. Excuse me. 
Dude, I'm rolling in gold. 10 gold? That puts me at a cool 88 gold. Thank you. 88 gold, dude. Yeah, there's no gem dealer in Ruthless. Though you do get some gems for free for playing it, you know, like in the quests. <clears throat> Time to gamble? How much is it? Thanks, <laughs> Thank T-Follower. How much are you charging to gamble, Pandejo? Uh, uh, what the fuck, dude? Just to gamble one item, it's like 300 gold. I thought I was rich. Jesus Christ. Uh, thanks, T-Follower and Sagbutt and Gaffy. Thanks to Basie Finest and Elfin Lied, whatever. And Mackin Casapo. Thanks. Mortgage your hideout? You know there's no crafting bench? You can't craft. No crafting bench. So, like, no resistances, nothing. There's no crafting bench. That shit's pretty hype. <laughs> Woo-wee! Uh-oh. Don't get hype. Don't get too crazy. Ah, fuck you. And he had some gold? Sweet. Yeah, I made a game yesterday, and it was titled Zod455 Cold Facet. And I was playing and shit. A couple dudes came in trying... Dude, some people are total scrubs. Like, these, are these guys trying to scam me? They came in, and they were trying to give me cold sunder charms for a Zod. Like, what the fuck? Are you an idiot? Why the hell would I want that trash for a Zod? Uh, you know? But anyway, uh, one dude came in and he wanted to give me a 4-5 cold facet, but I didn't want it. I wanted a perfect one. I did a... I leveled up a Twink character with the Saigon set, and I got another socket quest for Larzuk. And so I want to punch a hole in my Oculus and put a facet in it. Cold facet. What are you guys calling? Which part's gay? Did I say something gay? My bad. I know you guys get excited. Oh, Twink? Oh, yeah. I guess I forgot about that. I never really correlate those things together. That's what they call, like... A brand new character that is using gear that's um, strong. It's called that, right? Or am I just a bigot? I'm pretty sure it's called Twink Gear. Yeah, like loaded gear for a new character to like level up quickly. I'm right? Okay, cool. So you guys are just bitches is what you're saying. Just, just clearing it up. Now we gay? <laughs> yeah, but those two things are unrelated. I just want to make sure everything is uh, functioning as intended with the board. You guys let me know if someone's bothering you at school now. I keep putting my... pushing my Quicksilver for no reason. keep wondering also, am I going to like this mode enough to stop playing D2? I don't know. We'll see. Only one way to find out. Ooh, that guy was rich. Each wisdom scroll? I mean, what are you going to drop to identify with a wisdom scroll? I'm over here getting hype over a wisdom scroll, but what am I going to identify it with it? <laughs> Nothing. It's just 50 gold. 50 gold is 50 gold, man. Also, you know how I abandoned that quest because of the guy with energy shield? I wonder if the reward for that quest is different or good in Ruthless. 
Like, just because that quest is trash normally. Oh, that's the respect point. That's what that moron was saying. You get a respect point. Are you sure you get a respect point on Ruthless as well? You could just be assuming. Plus one respect. You do? Okay, good. I got the three seashells. I can wipe my butt now. I think I'm feeling a mirror of Calandra in this mode. What do you think, chat? It could happen. Got a manifest. Molten Strike was a clutch decision. Dude, I'm a little bit frustrated because you guys told me about that RE4 demo shit tomorrow. I should have wrote that guy's name down. Because if that shit doesn't come out tomorrow, I'm going to be pissed. Because everyone was saying it is. Yeah, I'm in. I already said I was going to play it. Capcom's birthday tomorrow. Alright, cool. <laughs> Thank you. Damn. I'm coming up. Oh, yeah. Give that shit. Damn, I also was thinking, like, I really like Bloodborne. Sometimes I always think, like, man, too bad you can't play two games at the same time, man. Bloodborne is going really well, and I'm really enjoying it. I've never had such a smooth playthrough where I'm just, like, kicking the shit out of everyone. Man, this is crazy. So you get a bunch of stuff, right? My inventory's full right now, and I can't go back. I guess I could just walk back. Thank you. Is that what you would do, chat? Walk back to the waypoint? Alright, I will then. Or maybe I could walk... F yeah, I should walk back. I would log out? Um... Yeah, I guess you could just log out, huh? It's right here anyway. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, can you log out? Yeah, I guess you can. I didn't think about it, but yeah, why not? But it's right here. Uh, thanks, Twitch on Affiliate and Gigazord and Legit Noob, Panda Scam, Hi A34, Achi. Thanks for the tier three. Thanks always, Pickled and T Follower. Happy Big Friday, everybody. Yes. Yes. I'd like to sell all this trash that I found on the floor, please. Uh, I'll take nine gold for it and I'll allocate my point Thank you very much uh, I checked the price in regrets. It's 50,000 gold for what one regret This is crazy. This is like real life This feels like real life shit like you're, you find this much loot on the ground in real life. Like bottles. <laughs> and you like, take this bottle, they take this can. Alright, that's, that's five cents. It's like a homeless bum. You know, just one. You gotta recycle like a hundred bottles to get one single meal, you know. Two hundred bottles. Or more. That's pretty hype. We got some ah, magic pack. Fuck you. No support gem? So what's the first support gem you get? I know you're granted them, aren't you? Thank granted you. them at some point? My mana is gone. It may not be worth it to go all the way back to town. Uh oh, look at this motherfucker.
he's like unique, end up being like a boss in this mode. Uh oh. What? Did you see that? I think that's against the rules. He's not supposed to be able to do that. Ouch. I think this is gonna be my first death. Is he making me bleed? I think he is. Okay, okay, ah! Okay, I'm okay. I'm okay. Be cool. Be cool. Damn, that guy was a beast! Oh! Thank you. Ah! Oh! What the fuck? What the hell? Was that an illusion? Roll back net code? I'm gonna go get my charges back. This mode's neat. This feels like a survival like type of a thing. Since you don't get to just go back to town and ref refill all your shit and teleport scrolls. Plus like, I don't know about you, but logging out in a scenario like that. Hmm, nah. Maybe later, like if I'm gonna lose experience. Where'd that guy go? I'm gonna kill him. Ah, excuse me. I should have emptied my inventory. Where did that guy go? Uh, ah! <laughs> Thank you. Is that a poison or what? I think this guy has like an AOE. Yeah. Uh, yes! Give me that shit. Fuck that guy. I got him. Chaos damage degen. He wasn't even that rich. Uh, Siosa in the library doesn't even sell gems. Gives you one blank gem. You can choose a single gem. <laughs> That's hype, dude. Yeah, I heard about the blank gems. Like, he gives you credit for one gem, and you can choose what you want, right? Brutal. Break time cut. Let me get to the next waypoint real quick, which will take 45 minutes. Hold on. Actually, it might be right here. I haven't died yet. Chat was sure I was gonna die on that frozen bitch. And the second area, the guy that gives you a uh, Quicksilver flask for the reward. But I got his ass. Valdo got that ass. You know what I ordered yesterday after Thai food? I got Thai food, I got drunken noodle and that Penang, Poontang curry, it was fucking good. Anyway, um, after that, my stomach was, you know, a little bit pissed off because it was spicy as fuck. So I, I thought, you know what, man? I usually only drink water, but I got a Jamba Juice. Man, it was crazy. Let me tell you, if you drink water all the time and then you get something like a Jamba Juice, dude, shit's like a porno movie in your fucking mouth. It was crazy. I got a like a passion fruit type of thing, and it was like, uh, it was like guava, and I don't even fucking know. It had a bunch of shit in it. It was really good though. It was delicious. I loved it. Uh, let me sell some shit to this clown. Hey, look, block recovery. What's this one do? Movement speed. I'll take that. Sell it. Sell that. Increased spell damage. Uh, hey chat. If I put... Oh, you can't put this on. You need 15 int. But it would work. 
with molten shell because this is a fire. Oh, it's not a spell. It's not a spell. So get rid of it. Not a spell, not a spell. One gold all day. You should have got Tai T. I didn't want to. I, I did it exactly the way I wanted to do it. Uh, it was a good evening. Even though I had kind of a jihad on the toilet today. But other than that, it was really delicious food. That curry was even better than the drunken, uh, drunken noodles. The curry was better than the drunken noodles. And the curry was supposed to be the experiment. And the drunken noodle was supposed to be the, you know, I know this is good. You're talking to someone who's got 178 gold and seven wisdom scrolls and two teleport scrolls, all right? Put some street cred respect points on my name, please. My name is Lieutenant Jim Dangle. Oh yeah, it's break time. Fuck, I almost forgot. Thanks. <clears throat> Hold on, let me talk to this guy. What do you have to say, exclamation point? Oh, damn! What do we have here? Decoy totem seems good. Molten shell, nah. Ancestral protector seems good, too. Vigilant strike? Hey, what do you think? Decoy is top. Ancestral protector seems top. Protector also does damage and gives me an attack speed buff. Protector easy? Protector it is. Ah. That's my boy. I like the way he like punches their lights out and shit. He comes out of the totem. Beats their ass. Alright. Sounds good. So far this is going quite smoothly. Any plans to visit Habit Burger again? What the fuck dude? Um, I, I don't usually eat things like that. And if I were to eat something like that, it would have to be an exception or, like, I'm going to get my favorite. And even though Habit is decent, it's not my favorite. If I was going to eat something like that, I would get Tommy Burger Chili Cheese Hot Dog, okay? And it would be... The last time I got a Tommy Burger Hot Dog, dude, I was, like, I was, like... I don't know how to explain it. It was just so fucking good. I couldn't believe it. I was making eye contact and whispering sweet nothings to this shit. It was so good. It was so good. Chili cheese dog, no onions, mustard, and relish. But you know, I put last time, I put my own mustard and relish on it. Just letting you know. Uh, thanks, Nightmare Cast. <clears throat> thanks, ESL Bravado. Quacksor, uh, thanks, Million Dollar Extreme, and True Drew, and Nightmare Cast, and Ricky Dota. Uh, what do you think about Halloumi? I don't know what that is. Thank you. Uh, thanks, Risky Business, Tom Cruise. Mm, thanks. Is that some, like, fucking person? I hate it when people ask me shit like that. What do you think about Four Sin? Shut up. Stupid bitch. Uh, I'm hungry. Thanks, Risky Business, Tom Cruise. Uh, I'll be back. Halloumi, some kind of cheese? Oh, all right. Poof, good break. That whole break, I was thinking about the RE4 demo. If that shit's disappointing, or if that shit actually doesn't come out tomorrow, uh, <laughs> Thank you. I think I'll be pretty pissed. Not pissed, you know, like, I'm excited about it. It's gonna be cool. This shit looks really cool. Everyone says tomorrow Capcom is having some kind of shit. Some kind of birthday party. And at the end of it, they're going to say <laughs> the demo Thank is you. available now. Oh, but you know what the downside will be of watching that event with you? Is they're going to spoil. Because you know the last trailer, I didn't watch it. Due to all the spoiling. Ah, excuse me. Maybe I'll... Uh, close my eyes. <laughs> Thank you. Which button is my decoy totem? Or my protector? Thanks, Trungle Fever. 
Spoilers galore in the most recent trailer I heard. I heard, I heard. Gold. That guy had two gold? Man, the prices are crazy. I guess I knew that was gonna be the case. That things were gonna be priced in gold, like crazy. What game? Right. We're talking about RE4 demo. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't really know what you're talking about. I'll cover my eyes. Cover your ears and your eyes? Oh, fuck. Yeah, that's true. They could show someone... Ah, fuck it. I'll just cover my eyes. It's not that big of a deal. I almost died there. Ancestral protector. Beat their ass. Protect me! Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Damn, he dies too. <laughs> Ouch. Fucking lobsters. You crab! Oh! These motherfuckers freeze you, huh? Dirty technique. God damn it. Fish. Kick these barrels! Damn, that hurt me! <laughs> Fuck. Oh my god. Oh my god! Run for your life! Dude, this mode is crazy. Oh! Well, what the fuck then? I gotta go back to town? Is that the, like, is that what happens? <laughs> you just gotta go back to town over and over? This mode's cool. Really makes you appreciate what you got. I have to go back to town. I have to walk to this lady. She fills up my shit, and now I gotta walk back. No teleport, no hair, no problem. I think it's pretty fun. I like this kind of thing. As a person, I like to actively appreciate what I have. So this is like a mode that I could get behind because of that. It's, it's easy to forget how sick something is. Something as simple as I can walk, you know? It's easy to forget how sick that is. Unless you remember it. Like, actively, you gotta remember. Oh, fuck this, dude. Okay. You gotta think more strategically. I gotta think, like, triangle strategy. Throw in my protector while he's distracting these hoes. Beat their asses a little. Dude, this area is absurd. Each one of these fights is like a real fight. It's a street fight. Back here. Dude, energy shield seems like a bitch. Did I not get full health when I leveled there? They took that out too? You don't get your health back when you level, dude? Doesn't that seem like it's a little bit overkill? <laughs> you don't even get full health when you level, dude. Come on, man. That's bullshit. <laughs> Thank you. Uh oh. his ass has he found a blue yet no all white hold up the sickest thing I've dropped so far is a scroll a portal scroll that's the dopest shit a portal scroll and I got hype <laughs> I did 
I dropped a portal scroll. And I've been picking up trash off the floor and recycling it like a bum. And getting, like, pennies for it. It's pretty, pretty high. Oh, I have a point. I should allocate that. Go somewhere safe. Uh, I'll go this way. Ooh. I'll take that. A little bit of regen. This is like, yeah, this is bomb simulator shit, dude. Really makes you appreciate little things. Which is not a bad habit to get into, chat. But you'll understand when you get older. This is one of those things you don't even consider when you're a little young bitch like you. Just wait till you're an old bitch like me and you'll start to appreciate shit. You'll start to appreciate things like a really smooth, satisfying BM or like just being able to fucking do stuff. Cool stuff. Know what I mean? Damn, I'm pretty far away from the waypoint now. I gotta be real careful. I think this is a nice compromise. Hardcore is a little too hardcore for me. I don't want to feel sad. Hardcore makes you feel like shit. I don't like it when games make me feel like shit. Ouch. Yeah, I don't want that. I always think about games that, like, you know those uh, gotcha type of games? I always wonder how often people regret things in that game. Or those games. Do you regret it? Maybe you don't regret it. Immediately? All the time? Ask Lakari. I wonder if Lakari even feels like a single like drop of regret or even no pants honestly i'm surprised that no pants even likes games like that because as a personality type of trait no pants is a cheapskate no pants just naturally instinctually is a cheapskate like he he's the type of guy he'll go to the store and notice that blueberries are on sale and he'll buy like a hundred dollars of blueberries and eat blueberries for like every meal for a month he's like that kind of a guy like now and then like if i'm out with him and i tip like generous tip i could feel his stress you know like i'm tipping you know being generous i could feel his stress and anxiety it's like like, it's like emanating off of him. Like, he can't stand this shit. He's like an old person in that way. Not in every way. <clears throat> so it surprises me that this is the same person who's willing to get into these gotcha games. You know? It just seems like it doesn't add up. Unless there's some kind of psychological, like, uh, thing going on where you can separate it from the same concept as like blueberries on sale that's what he's saving on the blueberries for I guess that's true hmm man that sucks I can tell you now that if I spent like you know how I recently bought that old caprice like, to me, when I look at that, I think to myself, that is the greatest decision you've ever made. Almost. You know, like, I'm just so happy about the decision, and I'm so, I feel so lucky that I was able to make this decision, and I could have bought this car, right? But Lucari has spent more than that car on these, these games, right? So when I think about the decision I made and I look at it and I think, do I regret it? Absolutely not. I would make it a hundred times again. It's the same price. What if I regretted it? What if I didn't have anything to show for it? <laughs> I don't know though. This is not a fair comparison. I, I have to uh, 
remember that that's part of Lakari's act, you know? That's part of his act. He's a magician, and his magic tricks involve these types of things. Like, you say act well, right? You say act, huh? But I would never know who Lakari is if he didn't waste all that money on those games. And neither would you. So who's the one that's getting, you know, who's the moron? Is Lakari the moron or are you and I the moron talking shit about Lakari? Think about that. I mean, the only reason we even know who he is is because he wasted all that. That's like this biggest, like, fame, claim to fame. <laughs> you know? Uh, that's sick. That's his prestige. Everyone has some kind of prestige, right? That's his prestige. But what's your excuse? I ain't never fucking heard of you. What's your excuse, bitch? Hmm? That's the real question. How much did you spend on that shit? I got a job? You mean, like, to pay for that? I don't know if that's, like, uh... Are you... What are you saying? It almost feels like your tone is in a comeback tone. Like, I got something for Eris right here. I got a job. The jerk store called. Or whatever. You know? That's not that good of a comeback. Because jobs fucking suck. And that's assuming you're using the money from the job to live. You are using the money from the job to pay for gotcha titties. So that you can see when you disassemble that comeback, it really it has a reflect effect on it. That comeback doesn't quite work. I got a job. Hmm. Know what I mean? I don't recommend getting into a game like that. Especially these days when games are so often, like, artificially generated by AI. <clears throat> no Pants told me that he thinks it's uh, there's already evidence of it. Like, he told me some of these gotcha games, when you reverse Google search the artwork from them, it's like literally an AI-generated artwork with tweaks. What are you That's crazy, at? dude. AI generated. And what is the thing you're paying for other than artwork, really? Sure, it jiggles a little. I mean, jiggling's cool, I guess, but it's just a, just a doodle at the end of the day. And these guys, everything is hard in this mode. Stupid fucking lobsters. Jesus. Man, that regen is nice, though. Um, what were we talking about? The story smile? Don't even get me started on that shit. Don't even get me started on that shit. I mean, are you serious, dude? You must be fucking kidding me. Thanks, blood work. Thanks, job, prestige. Thanks for making me laugh at work, too. Who? Hey, thanks, uh, hi-fi boriqua. Uh, you got it, Koo. Uh, thanks, hella yeah, and stash pocket, and Dan Chauffeur. Sternly worded letter and trungle. Thanks, Koo. Uh, yeah, we're ka. Thanks, show. I'm so glad they don't make you click on all this. Hey, what's the problem? God, the mobile users. There's nothing worse than a mobile user who's easily offended. That is the most annoying type of chat person. <laughs> Thank you. Like, dude. Yeah, all right. Go get offended at the right time. You're getting offended like fucking ten minutes later. I don't even know what you're offended about. Stupid bitch. Sensitive and a mobile user.
There's a boss around here that's about to suck. Man, can you believe how easily I beat the Kanehurst Castle boss? That shit was getting me hyped, like, yesterday at night. I thought I was going to spend all day on that guy. I ate him for breakfast. Man, Bloodborne is fun. Uh-oh! The king of lobsters, huh? Alright. Let's see if you're ready for this technique. Ah! <sighs> Damn, the Lobster King has a shell. Get him. I think the fireballs hit him too on the Molten Strike. <laughs> Thank you. Damn, what am I gonna do if I have to go back to town here? This is gonna... Oh, nice, he's got additionals. So they'll give me my flask back. I decided yesterday after I got that Penang curry that I like Thai curry uh, the most. Of all curries, Japanese curry, Indian curry, Thai curry is the best to me. There are just way too many kinds that are just super good. Because I don't know if I had ever had Penang curry before. That shit was really good. And I've had duck curry, and I've had green curry. All of these curries, to me, are all really good and unique. And I think it's the best. It's my favorite. Penang slaps. Yeah, I didn't know. What is that? Like, what is Penang? What does that mean? Starfield got delayed again. I didn't know it was even delayed once, but whatever. That's cool. Hey, you know, the pandemic and all, and all the crunch. Give him a break, man. Game devs. They got a program of artificial intelligence to develop the game for them, you know? Give him a break. That shit'll malfunction. I got this. This guy's dead. Give me the gold. Damn, man. I have not even gotten a blue item. <laughs> Sweet. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. Dude, there's no way they're going to put vats in that game. It just doesn't seem like... Do you think they could? I always feel like... Okay, so if I was Bethesda, I would understand, all right, well, this is not um, Fallout, so you can't just put vats in it, right? But on the other hand, it almost feels like maybe what they should do is think, okay, we've done something good, let's just put a version of it in the next game. Put a little vats in there, dude. I have a feeling that that is like patented. Like other developers are not allowed to even do something close to it. Because otherwise they would. I know that things like in the past, like I'm talking 10 years or 15 years ago, uh, Harada and Michael Murray told me that there are some things that they cannot include in their game because other games have a patent on them. So, like, there are aspects that you don't even think about. Like, for example, you know, something, right? Whatever it is. You can't include it in your game because it would be against the rules. Ouch. Maybe that's the case with... Oh! Run for your life! Man, that shit fucking adds up in a second. With those bitches. Mortal Kombat X-rays? Yeah, things like that. You know? And legally, there's like a... It's like you can only be a so much like it. And like, uh, it can't even be like it at all, basically. 
It has to be its own thing. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you can't make bikini volleyball mode for Tekken because DOA has the patent. <laughs> God. Man, what is this shit? There's so many tough enemies everywhere. A cold facet is gonna work really well on a cold sorceress, right? I want a 5-5, five five, dude. A Zod rune, I worked hard to get that Zod rune. <laughs> you know? I want a 5-5. Five five. I don't know if it's good or not. You gotta tell me if a cold facet's good for a cold sorceress. I don't know. It's my first time, dude. Oh my god, I'm getting fucked up by these stupid hoes. One at a time. Atta boy. Oh shit. Both sides at the same time, dude? Fuck this. How are you supposed to do this shit? <laughs> Alright, back it up. One at a time. Tomorrow, huh? Is that a teleport again? Tomorrow is Capcom's birthday, I guess. Oh my god! Am I dead because of that decision right there? Alright, alright. I think I can escape <laughs> through here. They chill you too. Oh my god, this is absurd, dude! They just pop out of the ground! Go this way. I lost them. Oh. They might be catching wind of me. I lost them! Nice! I hope this is the right way. Oh boy. What the hell? Gold. Oh my god. What the fuck, dude? Can I give him the run around? Ugh. Beat his ass. Oh my god. Ugh, I'm frozen. Oh, guys. Oh boy, this is really bad. Oh no. Oh. Ah. Uh oh. Run. Oh. Ah. Ah. Oh fuck, dude. This is bullshit. Oh! No teleport? What are you supposed to do without a teleport, dude? This is crazy. Beat this fucking orange bitch's ass to death! Now that he's by himself. You ain't so fucking tough with all your homies. Brood princess? Take that shit. Oh, damn. She tried to kill me. My mana is gone. Woo, woo, easy money. I, I found shoes. I found shoes. Oh, fuck. This is like a homeless simulator. Like you find shoes on the ground, that shit gets high. A shoelace. And then like I'm talking to you guys. You guys are like my bum friends at the camp. I found shoes today, bros. Oh, yeah. 
Take five steps and six more, and the lady pops out. You chop the head, and then two comes out. Okay, allocate. Hey, where to? Max life? I'm doing an RF jug without having a POB. Next step, max life. Thanks. Thanks. Chop the head. Ouch. This is absurd. Man, what the hell am I supposed to do about this? <laughs> Thank you. Fight my way through. Oh, I'm chilled. Nice. All right. Okay, I think that's everyone. And each little encounter in this mode is meaningful. These guys would be chump change in regular mode. Just teleport past, uh, past them. Bass them. In regular mode. Just run by. See ya. Never gonna fight you again. It's crazy. Oh my god, frozen is bullshit. Beautiful. No dropping though. I also really like opening every treasure. That's one thing I love about Diablo 2. That it's worth it to open every treasure. And I wonder if RE4 is going to still have the same types of gold in, in barrels and shit. Dude, that game is about to be sweet. Did you see they made female Ganados? There's like Lady Ganados. Damn, dreams come true? There's going to be Lady Ganado porn. Ooh. Ganadas? They added senoritas, dude. There already is? Oh, shit. <laughs> cool. <coughs> mm, and cosplays? Thanks, Twigs. And Elite Damage and Tricks Rule and Brighton. Thanks, Never Scry and Hi-Fi Boricua and Necropolis. Anyway, yeah, I got that Jamba Juice to cool my jets since I was having a jihad in my stomach over the spicy-ass curry I got last night. So it was a really nice day. Uh, pretty smooth. Just like today, of course, but, you know, just recapping. Capcom cosplays. Capcom's still on it, dude. NRS is... They fell off. NRS, like, made all the characters look ugly on purpose with the excuse of, like... I don't even know. Like, you don't have to make them look ugly even if you do want to take away their titties and stuff. But make them look pretty, dude. You know? They just make everyone look fucking ugly. Like, all right, fine. They don't need to be ridiculous proportions. Fair. Okay. You want to look more realistic? Fine. But in real life, you know, not everyone's butt fucking ugly, dude. There are pretty girls out there. And I would like to think that a girl who's going to participate in Mortal Kombat tournament would get dolled up. Don't you think? Like, if you were a pretty girl and you were going to be in the Mortal Kombat tournament to the death, you'd put on a little fucking makeup, right? Some of these characters look like they they hit every branch on the way down, dude. 
You're going to get hit by every branch on the way down. You're not even going to put on any makeup for the Mortal Kombat tournament. Shang Tsung's going to be there, and you're not going to put on makeup for that? Come on, man. Mm, thanks, Mineral Wazertoff and Twigs. Yeah, Mortal Kombat these days feels like it's one of the only, like, things that exists where people who cosplay characters from it look way better than the thing that they're cosplaying. I've noticed that. Cosplayers look 10,000 times better than the thing that they're cosplaying. That doesn't happen often. That's not common. Usually you almost get there. You're not quite there, you know? But maybe that's NRS's plan. I mean, how are you going to cosplay as Chun-Li without those Chun-Li thighs, right? Well, the solution? Get rid of the thighs. And there you go. You're in business. You found 15%... <laughs> Thank you found 15 MS boots? What the fuck is MS? Movement speed? Oh, cool. Hey, nice. Let me get those. I tell you what, I'll trade you 80 gold for those boots. Let me know. The offer stands. 15% run walk is like fucking diamonds. Ah, excuse me. Since you don't have a teleport... I think there's a waypoint coming up. This is totally like a bum simulator. Hey, all right. Portal scroll! You see that? That's money right there. Easy money. All I had to do was roll that stone over, and I found the portal scroll. For free. Thanks, International Women's Day. That's today. Hey, happy Women's Day, ladies. Especially moms. I'm a big fan of moms. Good ones. Not those sorry ass moms. The good ones. Shouts out to moms out there. Yeah, good moms are cool. Because without good moms, then you can't have anything. Nothing will. We would have never gotten to the moon. Thank you. We would have never gotten to nothing. You'd have never done anything without good moms. The history of the fucking galaxy wouldn't exist without good moms. Literally. I mean, that shit is straight up. Ooh, I got a hat. I'll wear this hat. What else you got? Grants three life per enemy hit. Should I use Molten Strike with this nailed fist? Hmm. How do you look at... Ooh. Armor. Evasion energy shield. Claws are super good for Act 1. Yeah, I'm thinking that might be a good idea. All right, let's try it. But what about these gloves? Energy shield versus uh, armor and evasion. I think energy shield is more valuable right now. So I'll take it. <coughs> Hello. Yeah, moms are moms are super important. Shouts out to all the moms.
Hey, thanks, typical K. Hey, uh, I think that's, maybe that's uh, Guns N' Roses. Whatever. Hey, thanks. Mm, thanks. Uh, Sweet Baby Lilo for the Tier 3. Radial Mule. Mineral Wazer Top Twigs. Thanks, guys. Uh, hey, Eris, my mom is single. I'd love to call you my dad. Uh, well, I got bad news for you. It's clear that she has some terrible fucking genes. And I'm not talking about, uh, dungaroos or whatever the fuck they're called. No thanks. No thanks. But I appreciate it. JNCOs? I'm looking for JNCOs. Not fucking whatever the hell that shit is. Mm, anyway, shut up, bitch. Daisy Dukes? Good boy, Daisy. <laughs> Thank Thanks, you. Coach. Thanks. Alright, what else are we got going on here? Forget that. Oh, there's a quest turn in. What's the quest turn in? You managed Ooh. In Book of Skills. Happy Big Huli Festival Day from India. Bong. Hey, uh, hey, happy Big Huli Festival. What's that? Uh, thanks, frustrated Tom Brady and Needles 2. Thanks, bros. I never actually owned JNCOs. I, I just knew about them. And I think they're funny. Drop Sub-Zero. Boom. So. Looks like I'm pretty much decked out. I got pretty much GG gear here. Uh, let's go see who I could beat up. Dude, gambling is absurdly expensive. I have a grand total of like 100 gold, and gambling like a fucking shoelace is 300 gold. It's crazy. <clears throat> I think the progression seems to be similar to D2 as well. You know how, like, in Diablo 2, at the very beginning, it takes a long time before you could gamble a couple times? It's similar to that. Like, it's it's trying to make it so you can't abuse the gambling system. But I'm interested. I like that you can do it. Gambling's sweet. N I mean, I don't gamble, but I think it's sweet. I feel like I always should say that it's a weird feeling every time I say I love gambling I always feel like I should say that I don't gamble maybe because I think people might notice how ridiculously addicted to gambling I can be and I wouldn't want them to think that I just go and do stupid shit like that ruin my life nah Gambling with money is no good. Yeah, in games it's sweet though, as long as it's not real money. And I mean, sometimes gambling with money is sick. Like when I used to order that Indian three item special and I didn't even know what I was gonna get until I was eating it. That shit was pretty hype. I just dropped a, a scroll of wisdom. That's also pretty hype. <clears throat> That's gambling with real money. I'd pay like 15 bucks. That shit said three item lunch special and I had no fucking idea what it was I didn't even know what it was after I was eating it like three different shades of delicious goo let me get some of that I mean I know it's gonna be good Another scroll of wisdom, dude. Today's my lucky day. 
Are you kidding me? I'm up to nine scrolls of wisdom. Bitch. I like this part of the game because it has these birds. These seagulls. Birds are so sick. Probably my favorite animal, I must say. Birds. Especially birds of prey. Birds of prey are really crazy. Thank you. How they can, like, see. Birds of prey, like an eagle, like a bald eagle, can see, like, movement from, like, a mile away. Literally, I can see, like, a, a tiny animal moving from a mile away and catch that shit. It's so cool. And the way they catch it is, like, full speed crash landing. They dizzle it. There's videos on the internet of birds, like, going, like, 100 miles per hour, crashing into this animal. The animal is totally dizzled, and then the bird uses its talons. And fucks it up. How am I going to kill this guy? Oh my god. This mode is pretty fun. I think I like it. I don't think it was a good idea launching it at a league start. But this turned out perfect. I'm enjoying this right now. Oh fuck. This mode sucks. Oh my god. What the fuck? Each one of these enemies is like a boss. I'm so glad you don't have to click on gold to pick it up. I can't even imagine playing Diablo 2 that way. Having to click on gold. Ow! That would suck ass. Ow. Having to click gold is absurd. Dude, birds are the sickest animals. Birds can talk. Birds can talk. Too bad dogs can't talk. That would be sweet. Woo, woo, blue item! Oh my god, dude. I got a blue item. I got a blue item here. I used the portal scroll on it. Uh, what do you think about this item? Use it? That's big damage? And then, what about, can I use it with a claw? You can. Uh, how do you like that idea? Instead of the shield, I'll lose 3% movement speed though. Which kind of is a lot. Oh yeah, put the gem there. Thanks. Cool. That's an upgrade. And I got a skill point. Hey, what direction do I go in from here, bros? Um, uh, I don't remember. Do I go for this? Regen? Uh, res wheel? This one? They added Shredder to Call of Duty. 20 all res. Armor. 
and regen. Yeah, maybe I'll do it. Regen is big for leveling. I'm going to be leveling for the next six months. Actually, this is a three-week event, isn't it? wonder how much I'll play. All right, I think I'm going to do it. I'm getting the 20 all res. So here's the five. Cha-ching. I got five all res. And I got my new sword. Whoa, it's got new animations. Cool. I've never used this kind of weapon. Damn, it is more damage. Damn, that is a big upgrade. Look at the damage. These guys are getting fucked up. That's hype. I just fucking picked up a blue item, and it was a huge upgrade, and now I'm hype about it. Huge fucking upgrade all day. The screen shakes. Yeah, screen shakes. Nachos. <laughs> Someone earlier said the new Beavis and Butthead starts soon. I haven't even watched the last one. <clears throat> I have like a small list of funny things that I haven't watched. It's really rare for me to want to watch something funny. Uh, but I want to watch all the new Kirby or Enthusiasm seasons. Not new, I mean like all of the ones since the comeback. I haven't watched any of them. Um, and the Beavis and Butthead stuff. I did watch the Beavis and Butthead movie. I thought it sucked. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, let's go to the next area. And thanks, Take Red. And T. Charty and Kenson. And thanks, um, <laughs> Thank Hoot Hut. New stuff sucks? Why? Oh, I mean, you're just making an old guy joke? I mean, it's normal. The thing is, I now know that it's totally normal for old people to think new things suck. It's not really about the quality of the thing. Even though that is the case, <laughs> I guess, but... It's more about just being old and liking things the way they were when you were young. It has less to do about quality and has more to do about perspective and aging. I think that things I didn't like when I was young are better than the things that I don't like now. Like I remember, like oh, for example, shitty music when I was young, things like Avenged Sevenfold and like, like fucking... I don't know, like, uh, Limp Biscuit and corn, like, m metal with scratching in it. Uh, what's that other one? Linkin Park. These types of things, they were fucking trash when I was a kid. I made fun of people who liked them. But now, that stuff is way cooler than things that suck now. That stuff, that shit is way cooler. Then all that shit these days, that sucks. So think about that, logically. If I like things that I used to hate more than the new things that are hateable now, it just shows that it's it's the way the human brain works. It's no big deal. <clears throat> Everything is working as intended. Hey, I'm making some pretty smooth progress. Shit's getting me bricked up. Thank you. Thanks, Wizard of Oz. Uh oh, we got magician goats. Oh boy, this is getting a little too crazy. Back it up, back it up. Damn. Mating season? Beat that ass. Where's my fucking ancestral protector? That shit, bitch. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, so far I'm digging Thank it. You. 
I think really in general this mode suits my personality in general. This is like a like really focusing on dopamine and appreciation. <laughs> Shit suits my personality. This mode. And it's also a bum simulator. <laughs> This mode is meant for me. <laughs> Thank you. Don't rush. I don't like to rush things, you know? I like to be patient and take my time. And appreciate what you have. Hell yeah. I thought people were joking when they said picking up a blue item will feel like a significant upgrade. But that last blue item I got was a game changer, dude. <laughs> that shit really tied the build together, dude. Game changing upgrade. Break time, Habibi? Damn, maybe I should go back to town. I did just. Uh oh! We got company. This lady. Beat that ass. Ouch. Man, not having a teleport skill, I feel like it has more um, consequences than I'm giving it credit for. Like, some of these map bosses or regular act bosses might be like a total nightmare without a teleport. Oh, I also heard that on this mode, when you die to a boss, they heal like 40%. Oh my god! A yellow item! I just nutted. I just nutted. I got a yellow item. I got a yellow item. I'm gonna identify it. Please be good. Oh, it requires 20 dexterity! Is it good? Physical damage. Lightning resistance. It's bad? Why? I could wear it with the blue item <laughs> if I had Thank you. 20 dexterity. Where am I going to get 20 dexterity from? Dexterity doesn't just grow on trees, you know. You got to appreciate what you have. Reroll a new character for a yellow item? What a, what a, like dimension is this? I'm gonna start a new build. I found the yellow item, that shit's hype. I wonder how much gold you get for a yellow item on the street. Hey, any of you guys wanna trade me a 5-5 five five facet for that? Seems like some people in the chat were saying that you don't wanna use a 5-5 five five facet. Um, I wonder if they're right. I'm doing a cold sorceress. Oh my god. What the fuck? This, these guys are bitches. <laughs> oh. Thank you. This is like a mini boss or something, isn't it? But I don't think these guys are unlimited spawning and additional. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Let me beat this guy and then I'll take a break. Excuse me. I hope I beat this guy. Where is he? There he is, a bitch. Hey, what are you looking at? Need a lot to buy. No time to explain. <laughs> Hey, good luck. Man, this was such a game-changing item. That blue item I got, it's got faster attack speed and tons more damage. That's sick. I can't equip the yellow item, though.
Kick his ass, Harris. <laughs> Thank you. Dude, I, what's the boss's name from Kanehurst Castle? I beat that guy's ass like crazy first try. I cannot carry this. What do you mean? I'm full of stuff. A uh, large mana flask? Whoa, can I carry that? I want a large mana flask. Uh, what kind of hat is this? What kind of gloves are these? Uh, ooh, why am I not using this? Nice. And... I'll just pick it up on the way out. To pick up... Armor and energy shield? That seems good. Yeah, that seems good. Uh, I'll take it. Skipping break, huh? Am I? Oh. Alright, fine. I'm going back to town. Where is town? Oh, fuck. Is that... Is the prison close? It's the break police? Yeah. Dude, they're doing me a favor, man. You know how bad it is to sit around and never get up and stretch your legs? You don't know. That's why you're saying shit like that. Trust me. What the fuck? Is this guy invincible or what? Grab the large mana pot, amigo. Damn it. Alright, I am I thought I would be closer than that. I will, thanks. <laughs> Thank you. I'll go back and get it. Nice. Okay, so... 15 to all ends, please. And... I will take... Stop fucking... There we go. Uh, I'll drop... 36, 36. 32, 32. Get rid of it. Give me the large mana potion. Uh, thanks, Monkey Ambush. Hope everyone's feeling as good as I am. There's been a couple of luck buff requests. Thanks, Tronald. Good luck. Thanks, Five Finger Turkey. J Dash. Thanks, bros. Uh. Yes, it's me, Bing Bong. And Sir Majin. Wizard of Oz. Era Tick. Seronus and <laughs> thank you. Stay playful and not dream. My bad if I miss someone. Shabby Jerkin. Uh, nice joke, amigo. That's a cool joke you got there. I'll give you a scroll of wisdom for it. What do you say? That's a deal. A slave is not a man. A slave is not even worthy of death. That's 50 gold, dude. 50 gold's not nothing. All right. Break time, Habibi. So far, my progress has been great. I dropped a yellow item, and it made me nut. The tale of blue. Oh, shit! She's gonna give me a free blue shirt? Hold on, lady. I don't have room for this shit. She gives you a free blue shirt? Don't sell the yellow. Don't sell that either. Don't sell that either. Oh, that's a three link. Maybe I shouldn't sell that either. Okay. Put this stuff in my box, so to speak. Maybe not this. Uh, I guess I could wait for a 3 to 1 if it works. I don't know if a 3 to 1 works. <laughs> Thank you. Dude, I got 397 gold. Should I gamble? Oh, God. Don't do it. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, my God. Is this getting more expensive? 
This is getting more expensive because I'm leveling up. I don't have enough money. This shit was like 300 when I was lower level. Man, this is just like real life. The moment you get your feet on the ground, the economy and everything, pandemic and all, look at this shit. It's fucked up, man. <clears throat> Worked my ass off killing fucking lobsters in the dungeon. I made finally 400 gold and you can't buy shit with it. All right, no problem. I'll just buy a Chevy Caprice. Uh, let me get my free armor from this lady real quick. Yes. Fucking inflation. Reward. Okay, so I can either get this, stun and block recovery, stun and... They're all the same? Oh, well this one's seven to max life. Which one should I take? The one with flat life? Yeah, free used shirt on the ground. life all right yeah excuse me thanks for the help life plus 10 es but this one's three linked excuse me whatever i'll keep it for now just in case i need those colors later all right uh, i think i'm ready to take a break unless i'm forgetting something pretty sure Break time, Habibi. Alright, so far so good. You won't find supports, the links are irrelevant. Do you realize every time someone says that shit to me, they get owned? You don't want to have that attitude, especially not with me, okay? That attitude gets fucking clobbered every time. I'm just telling you now, don't even bother with that shit. It's not going to work. You couldn't be more wrong. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna get up and stretch. Thank you. Thanks, Mega Guy. Hex that guy? No, man. I'm not gonna hex that guy. I'm just gonna explain to him where he went wrong. You know what I mean? He's doing it all wrong. Thanks, Jacoby, and anyone can blow <laughs> me. You. Poof. Man, I love that song. That song, it means so much. It's a good song. Human music. Thanks, Orange Ranger and Dota. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Dota. Thanks, Ruble. And Spirited Castle, Brain Dogs, and Jabroni. I hope I didn't miss anyone. Thanks. <laughs> cool Thanks. pet? That's not my fucking pet. Who the fuck is that? That's not my pet. Hell no. Fuck you. That ain't my pet. I don't know what the hell that is. It's someone else's fucking crab. Uh, thanks, Dio. I don't like pets in this game. I don't have any in IRL either, but that's for different reasons. Uh, but, yeah, maybe I should get a pet. I don't know. Nah. I always almost get pets. Uh, look at this shit. Someone phantasm support. So they have... Uh, people are dropping stuff and trading it. I don't have anything to trade yet. Other than like some wisdom scrolls. Pets are too effort. Uh, I think that... For me on a personal level. I don't want to half ass that. I want a whole ass that. That's not something I would feel comfortable half-assing, since it's a life. So, you know, full ass. Ostriches are really cool. Ostriches are really cool. They're crazy. Birds are like the greatest uh, animals, in my opinion. This mode is really cool, man. I like it a lot. So far, I'm having fun. It doesn't have that sensation you always get when you're playing the campaign of PoE where you just want to hurry the fuck up, dude, and get it over with. I'm not getting that sensation from this mode because each drop is so meaningful. 
And that's the feeling that makes this uh, campaign suck. The fact that the... You know, you're just basically... It's like a race. Now, even if you're the type of person like me who doesn't rush, it's so hard to not feel like you're going too slow in the campaign. So... This mode doesn't really have that feeling so far. The campaign sucks so much. You know what really annoys me about that? So you know how the campaign sucks so much? People who defend it say things like, well, no matter what they do, you're going to get bored of it. You know? Like, it's not that the campaign is bad. It's just that you've done it so many times. But... I'm not arguing with that, but the campaign also is not very fucking good. You know, it just simply is much worse than the end game. If you look at it from like unbiased perspective, the campaign sucks. It takes for fucking ever and the maps are not that sick and the events that occur are very forgettable. It just is not that good of a campaign. So, you know, the theory that maybe PLE2's campaign will be good? It could be. It's not absurd. Did I do that right? I didn't. I didn't finish the ascendancy. I'm glad I realized it. Oh yeah, thanks for telling me. But I noticed it anyway. Oh, great, dude. There's a rare in there? Oh my god. I might skip this guy. He's spawning enemies too. Fuck that. I'm skipping that guy. Oh my god, there's another one in here? Oh my god, what is this? Run for your fucking life, dude. Did I... Hello? Am I, am I lagging? That was fucking weird. Did you see that? I aborted mission. <clears throat> I'm not gonna fight those guys. It's just gonna take me 45 minutes. All those drops you skipped? What drops? What drops? Potential drops? Shut up, bitch. Uh, should I go kill them? Are you peer pressuring me? Alright, I'm gonna go kill them. But if I die, well, someone's gonna have to pay. I'm gonna go kill them. You peer pressured me. Alright, bitches. Ah, ah, fight my way in. I'm getting struck by fucking lightning already. Alright, now we gotta get this guy. Some bitch. Oh. Come on. I'm doing some damage. I think I got this. Let me let my protector handle those skeletons and I'll deal with this guy. Damn, he's not handling them that well. Alright. Keep them busy though. At least he's keeping them busy. I think I gotta focus on this guy. Do the skeletons aim at him? He's dead, I got this. Stab it. With his own knife. Give me the drops. Right here. Damn, he didn't have... He had a blue. He had a blue. Blue buckler. That's a blue buckler. Blue's good. Blue's good. Hey, thanks for uh, peer pressuring me. Oh, what the fuck? 26 dexterity. I don't even want to use a scroll to identify it. Right? I just got two yellows from a rare mob. Damn. Let me get some of that luck, dude. Hey, can I get the luck buff? Thank you. You mind? Ah! Dude, this is gonna be hard. Kill this motherfucker. Oh my god. Okay, that guy's dead. Oh my god, what kind of a guy is this? Okay, kill the guy who regenerates fucking enemies first. Okay, so now there's gonna be no uh, respawning enemies, right? Yes! Okay. Now all I gotta do is beat this one guy's ass, no problem. 
Hey, thanks for peer pressuring me into coming in here and fighting these guys. That was a cool idea. He had a blue. He had a blue. I'm enjoying how each one of these encounters is so meaningful. That was a meaningful encounter. I feel like I just beat a boss. And isn't how you feel really the most important thing of all? I'm gonna identify this. <laughs> Pow! Thank you. What do you think? Slow ass attack speed. But it does have flat cold damage. Let's see how it feels. I'll try it out. Probably is a shitload of damage. I don't know though. I didn't look. Alright. Beat their fucking asses. Damn it's so slow. Uh, it's so fucking slow, dude. But it does do some decent damage. It does do some decent damage. Maybe it's more damage. Maybe it's like a visual thing. Dude, this guy's... This guy's movement speed is fast enough to outrun my swings. And he's slow. Did you see that? I couldn't hit this fucking guy. With this slow-ass attack. It's a pretty cool-looking animation, though. These are animations I've never even seen. Why on earth would I ever use this worthless shit... And use this move, you know? So I'm having fun. I like fun. <coughs> mm. uh, I'm thirsty. Mm, hey, thanks to Basie Finest and Nama Conby and Dio and Rubel. Thanks. What's your favorite candy bar? Probably Twix, dude. I'm not that into candy bars in general. I'll tell you the ones I hate. Worst of all are the ones where you feel like a nut or whatever. The ones with that coconut shit in them. What is that called? Almond Joy. Almond Joy, fucking the worst. The worst. Uh, and then... Uh, I like... I guess I don't really like, uh, you know, uh, the one that starts with an S. <laughs> you know that one. I don't really like that one. You know what I mean? <laughs> See, I told you we're cool. Uh, I don't like that one. And it's not that good. I'm not that into nougat. What the fuck is that? Let me get less nougat in anything that has it. Why the fuck do I want that? I don't want that. I don't like it. Like three musketeers or whatever. Yeah, yeah, we're cool. Man, candy bars are a sensitive issue. Hey, ban the guy who asked me about candy bars, dude. I didn't know it was going to get political and shit. Fuck. And then you got the mobile users coming in 15 minutes late. This guy's a bigot. Shut up. You know, a minute ago, I was having a really good time. <laughs> Another reminder that you need to appreciate what you have. Any moment some asshole could ask you about your favorite candy bar... And that's the beginning of the end. Ruthless mode. Just like real life. Real life is ruthless. You gotta be careful. Make sure you make the right decisions. Make sure you appreciate what you have. Watch your step. Watch where you're fucking going. There's no teleports in IRL, dude. You pay for your mistakes. Hell yeah. I like this mode. I'm having fun.
Ouch. <laughs> Thank you. You ever get those supporter packs? What are supporter packs? In this game, I've done things like buy stash tabs. Is that... Is the thing that you buy to then use the V Bucks to buy stash tabs? Is that what it, what you're asking about? Because I've bought those things, yeah, of course. Oh, are you asking that because my character looks like a fucking idiot? Maybe he's saying, "Why aren't you using like stuff?" I guess I don't really. <clears throat> I use the cosmetics, but only after I've gotten to the point where I feel like my character is a character. Right now, I kind of am enjoying the whole picking shoes up off the ground and getting hype and wearing them. But, yeah, I use them. Like, when I finish a character or towards the point where I feel like it's a real character. It kind of feels silly looking like a pimp, but swinging around a fucking... What is this thing? <laughs> what is this thing I'm I'm swinging? Isn't that what they play polio with or whatever in England? I'm swinging around the fucking polio stick. You know? How are you going to look cool swinging this stupid thing around? Upper prison. I'm going in. Mm, thanks, A. Sorry and Scarecrow. There's some treasure chests in here. So far, this run has been really fun, and I'm enjoying my day. Good shit. Nice work, chat. You guys are like the greatest drop of all in. Ruthless with gold, real life. You think about it. Portal scroll, big money right there. That's 150 gold. 150 gold, dude. That ain't nothing. Let me kick this barrel. Damn, it was empty. <laughs> you got me kicking barrels like a homeless bum. Digging through the trash for bottles, dude. That's tight. Did I go backwards? <laughs> Thank I you. did. I went backwards. Just like a bum. Uh, thanks, Ruben Madik. Too fast, too furious. Oh, I gotta sneeze. Uh, and hey, sorry. Thanks, bros. Wrong way, left, left way. You can't beat me. When I try. <laughs> Thanks, Doctor Thank Helix, Morir Daily. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Why not? Why not? Tell me why not. Give me a good reason why. You don't have a good reason. Fuck it. Thanks. Thanks, Doc. And thanks. Uh, this is Yarnum. Oh! We got a blue. We got a blue. This blue could be better than my fucking polio stick. Come on. Something good. Cold res. That's fucking trash. I wonder how much I could sell that for. It has way less damage than what I'm using. Uh-oh. I think I have to sneeze. Oh, fuck. Don't do it. Let's go. <laughs> Thanks, handsome Thank Aniki. You. I like gold. I was thinking about it. I wonder how trading will work because it's not like you're going to have a bunch of chaos to buy stuff with. So how are you going to be able to trade items for items in this game? Like the trade system, it makes you, it doesn't allow you to put an item for payment. You got to use gold. 
Or maybe I'm just looking at it through console perspective, because console has that trade market. I don't know. We'll see. I'll cross that bridge when it gets here. Capcom Spotlight stream is tomorrow. Uh oh. Don't die. Yeah, I heard about that stream tomorrow. I'm gonna watch it. The chat says that they're gonna announce the demo is out. Like, they're gonna say the demo is out now. The RE4 demo. I don't know if that's true. I feel like the chat's just fucking, you know, the usual shit. Pulling my leg. Curses, this. Yeah, music to my ears. Yeah, excuse me. Barrel. Hold on, I think I gotta blow out my say jam. It's getting too intense in there. Ouch, ouch! Easy fucking bitch. Magic pack. Man, broke. Bunch of broke ass. Elemental damage, 12%. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I'm chilling. Having a good day. I gotta blow out my say jam. This is safe, right? Just a sec. I still feel a sneeze. I didn't sneeze, but I feel it. I'm allergic to that guy's fucking shitty ass joke. I've been feeling it ever since I read that shitty joke. Uh, quit my job. Thanks for the luck buff. Hey, good shit, man. I think you'll find something that's way better. That's the thing, man. You can't find something that's better unless you're looking. And you ain't gonna be looking unless you don't have a job. So good shit. I'm sure you'll find something better. And that also includes trying some shit. Like, you know, uh, in my case, when I lost my job, like, of course, this was like 10 years ago, but I never would have even thought it's a good idea to stream for a living. At least for me. Like, at the time, I used to, like, know about it. Like, people like uh, Dan's Gaming or, like, Ella... You know that guy? These dudes were like streamers. And I was like, man, that's crazy. They do that shit for a living, huh? Whatever. But then I lost my job. I was like, alright, well, fuck it. I'll just do it. And I did. What is this guy's fucking problem, dude? Invincible? Um... Yeah, I got a ring. I noticed it. Where is it? Did I not pick it up? Oh, there it is. Call a ring. Was that the library job? No, that was working at Super Arcade. 
I haven't worked at the library since I was like 26 years old. Uh, Super Arcade was... No, more like 24... No, actually. 24 years old. 23 or 24. You are the best part of the internet nowadays. Thanks. Hey, thanks, Lego feet. Ah, the internet's cool. As long as you know where to draw the line and what to not look at, I'm getting very good at that. I'm getting very good at knowing what part of the internet has value and what part of the internet I should stay away from. But of course, it's a learning experience and it's ever changing too. We got more mana from that Paula ring. I forgot what I was even talk talking about. Five subjects at the same time, who cares? Man, I wonder if this boss is gonna be like impossible at this point without like a movement skill. I I keep thinking I wonder if it's a good idea to not progress at some point and just like farm for a gear or some shit. Man, these guys are fucking me up. How am I gonna beat the boss when these random skeletons are killing me? <laughs> Thank you. Well, it's boss time. Uh, let's give it a try. Your brawn is about to Brutus is fucked up with Marauder. Well, I have one more passive point. What's going to help me with Brutus? Uh, regen. Regen, right? Not much, but it's something. Uh, thanks, M. Lloyd. And Lego Feet. Thanks. Me and my uh, ancestral protector. We're gonna kill this bitch. This chest is about to drop something sick. Hey, I was right. One gold. Oh, fuck. You got me digging through <laughs> barrels. Thank you. Hoping for treasure, dude. Here we go. One gold. Three gold and four? Damn, four gold. And a scroll of wisdom, dude. Today's my lucky day. Three link. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, I was going to say, won't that be a chromatic orb? Yeah, right, kid. That's probably like eight gold. All right, boss time. I need an escape strategy. It does give chromatic still? Say word? Weird. Reset the zone and farm barrels, dude? No way. But... Oh my God. <laughs> Hit up those barrels. Let me kill this fucking boss. Hopefully. Oh, fuck. Bust down doors. Ow! I had to use one. Ow! Oh, 
Oh, he pulled the... Oh my god, he just killed him. Ow! Ow! Dude, I only have three juices left. What the fuck is this strat here? Is so cheap. How are you supposed to escape that? All right, I need to start thinking about my uh, escape strategy because I only have two juices left. What am I gonna do, dude? This guy's busting down doors. Oh fuck! Ah, eat that shit, bitch. Ah. Some decent damage. Oh god. Run for it. Almost at fifty percent. Oh god. High risk maneuver. Oh, I think the play is to put the protector down and then do night at the Roxbury style. So he he aims his shit in the other direction. Ow. Like this. Ugh, but he died. I think that's the strat. That was good. Good damage. Run for it! Oh, fuck! Okay. That other room is better because there's like that object in the middle that I couldn't use to create space. This room has it too. This is the one. This is my room. Get in here, bitch. Thank you. Oh! Oh! That was a fuck up. Play it cool. To death, give me good stuff. Blue gauntlets. This game is insane. This mode is crazy. That guy didn't drop shit, and I'm hype about it. All right, I'm gonna identify those. Yeah, I beat his ass. I didn't die. That was sick. Ancestral protector, dude, all day. That guy is like your best friend. That guy's Abba Zabba, dude. You my only friend. What do you got for me? Life and fire res? I nutted. Life and fire res, dude? That's fucking nice. That's like finding a slice of pizza in the trash that still has pepperonis on it, dude. We came up. Fuck yes. Fuck yes. Murder style. Exactly. That's like picking up a handful of M&Ms out of the gravel and only having two or three stones in them. Perfect. It's my lucky day.
I'm going back to town. Discuss this. Gutter tacos. It would be cool. I would totally go to the hood track just for fun. Not even like for content. <clears throat> I would go to the hood track just for fun. Though I think I would need to wear earplugs. Because I ain't trying to fuck up my ears. Uh, here's a big decision, chat. I say vitality. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, but in Enduring Cry is actually pretty good, isn't it? What do you think? This is rough. Vitality, for sure. Enduring Cry is an unlimited health potion. That everyone says vitality. Everyone. Okay, deal. I'll do it. You can buy the other one? It, I just assumed that that's not how it works, but maybe you can. God knows how much it costs. 5,000 gold. Uh, I think I'm going to go Vitality. Cry is probably good for Ruthless. Hmm. Yeah, you guys are thinking like regular, huh? If you can buy the other one, I'm going to go Enduring Cry. Alright? If you could buy the other one, if you want to go RF, Vitality is needed. Yeah, I know. But... You aren't given any other auras. I know that. That's true. All right, fine. You double convinced me. Vitality. I got double reverse peer pressured. Nice work. I did it. All right. Well, I got a problem. Fuck. I don't have any red sockets, dude. Fuck. Hey, maybe I should check the vendor for shoes and stuff, right? What if he has, like, shoes? Hey, you got shoes that don't have holes in them? Good God, dude. These prices. He doesn't sell blues? Oh, he does sell some blues. Look at this. I should have been checking the whole time. But the prices are absurd. Uh, I could get something. But my chest is good. What the fuck is this, dude? Uh, hey, thanks, Great White Dave and Lord Dookie and Burger Blast. Yeah, what the fuck was that weird ass love letter? Shut up. I don't care what you're saying. Mm, so you're telling me this is a chromatic orb if I sell it? Should I sell it? I'm selling it. It is a chromatic orb. Maybe I should... Uh, okay, here's what I'm going to do. I made a decision. I'm going to sell all this shit. I'm going to sell this too. Unidentified? Maybe not. I'll ask you about that in a second. Sell this, sell that. Okay, so I'm selling all this shit, right? I think I'm going to, even though this big stick is all right, what if I put this there and then put this here and now at least I could put in, damn, I still can't put in vitality. <laughs> Fuck. No matter what I do, I can't put in vitality. Use the chromatic? Are you kidding me? That's like my entire life savings. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, thanks, Dark Breeze or Bees and Resident Beevil and everyone. Damn, I don't know what to do. Uh, well, how about at the very least? Can you level your gems in your offhand? <laughs> Does that work? I'll put it in my offhand and level it up. Okay. So that's cool. That's one thing that I could do. And then I'll put my prized possession. Look at this. My one chromatic orb. It's like the my prized possession. Uh, what about this? Uh, oh yeah, it goes here. And then this I can't use. And this... 
so this is what I was going to ask you. I have an unidentified blue item here. Should I waste 50 gold to identify it and then trade it in? Because I'm not going to use it. Maybe I should not identify it and just sell it unidentified. Mm -hmm. Three gold. <laughs> All right, three gold Thank it is. You. And make that four package deal. All right, I'm in the money. I got 500 gold. <laughs> thanks, thanks Poi you. Fu and Bobo Dijin. And thanks, Chief Bear. Thanks for the new sub. That's nice of you. Twitch Prime flavored. Thanks. Just identify items you would actually use. <laughs> Thank you. Gotcha. Thanks, Emo Walrus. I appreciate all of you very much. More today than usual because I'm playing Ruthless mode. This mode is designed to make you appreciate what you have. And to me, the chat room is like my one single chromatic orb. Truly my prized, uh, I guess, possession or whatever. Whatever the word is. If I drop any kind of glove, no. Shoes, if I, no. Two red, double red shoe, or double red hat would be pretty cool. Or even single red hat. Oh. I said excuse me, my bad. <laughs> Thank you. I'm chilling, having a great day. Tomorrow's the Resident Evil thing. So apparently tomorrow's Resident Evil's birthday. And according to the people who make shit up in the chat room, they're going to say, hey, as a celebration for our birthday, the demo comes out right now. Go <laughs> download it and Thank enjoy you. it in your home or the room or your living room. Kage. And so I'm going to watch that and then I'm going to download it and play it. So that's tomorrow. My mana is gone. Uh, I guess I'll grab my... Hey, I'm busy. There's a dog here. Could somebody permanently ban that red name who tagged me? I want that guy dead. I do it myself, but this fucking guy is here. What the fuck is a pinned comment? Learn how to aim, dude. What the fuck is that? This guy just pinned his comment. <laughs> oh, man. At least I'm about to get something really sweet. Right now. Come on. I mean, gold is cool and all, but thought it'd be something cooler than that. Thought the Rocky Mountains would be rockier than this. Uh, someone just got timed out. I found a hat with red sockets. Vitality activated. So I should level vitality up pretty much all the way since I'm not going to get <laughs> Thank you. like determination or grace, right? All right, vitality's on.
Music to my ears. Uh, thanks, Ekra and Chizukeki. And thanks, Strick. Yeah, that's another Twitch Prime. You guys offloading that shit? <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. <clears throat> thanks, Tierson. Uh, and Bricken, Brickenald. And Pure Schmuck. And thanks, Emo Walrus. And Boy Fu. Thanks for those brand new Twitch Primes, muchachos. Uh, we're going here. Regen. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to have a lot of regen. Thanks, the Moloch. He finally said my name right. You know what's crazy is? I feel like I've never said that name ever before. I've never even fucking seen you before. Hey, ban that guy. That guy's got to be some kind of imposter. <laughs> Thank you. I'm just kidding. You have to <laughs> get fucking shot, dude. That ought to teach you a lesson. Hey, nineteen to thirty. Nineteen to thirty. Hey, this chopper is better than Thank you. my chopper, huh? Is it? Oh wait, I didn't add the three to six. Fuck. No, it's not. Three to six elemental damage. Thanks, Doc Thugly. Did that guy just freeze? How did I freeze that guy? Weird. What do I have that's even freezing? Is it me or is the mana reservation a little bit funky for that? What the fuck is this? Seems like a lot. Is it is it more than usual? Maybe it's just because my gear sucks ass. It's flat. It doesn't go up as you level it? No. Really? Nice armor texture, thanks. Fucking slow ass weapon. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it's highly detailed. <laughs> thanks, Fop Doodle and Sniffy. Portal scroll. And two boxes to open. They didn't have nothing but gold. It's not a canoe or you fucking moron. It's a polio stick. Traditional British sports. Alright. This guy's about to drop some sweet shit right here. Let me call my protector. Fuck you. He's probably got fire defense, huh? There's a little flame next to his name. Regen is sweet! I like that regen. Here comes. Damn. Come on, man. I mean, sure. But no blues? At least he had gold. Man, you gotta, like, kite enemies together and shit. This is so different than PoE. It really feels like a new game. Like a new game that I already know how to play and I don't have to read. That's sweet. I hate reading. That's 
gotta be the worst thing about new games. Yeah, they put gold in PoE, so now it's like Diablo 2. But without a teleport. <laughs> it's pretty cool, though. I'm enjoying it a lot. It's making me appreciate you. Thankfully, there's a counterbalance. Those people who keep saying stupid shit and getting banned in here. It evens out. I got another rare. This guy's gonna have big money. I could tell. He looks rich. Welcome to hell, bitch. Give me it. Right here. Ooh. Oh man, it's a goat's horn, though. Fuck. It's just a blue item. Three gold. I mean, a blue item's cool, but it's not what I need. Damn it. Still good, though. So far, my progress has been pretty smooth. I couldn't beat that one early quest for the respect point. Couldn't do that one. I hope that happens tomorrow. You know, one of my favorite things on Earth is being excited about tomorrow. And that Resident Evil shit. Like the early, you know, like I turn the stream on and you guys tell me what's new and shit. Usually that news fucking sucks. Like, <coughs> Shredder is in Call of Duty, Eris. Or did you see the new Jin trailer? Or I just got done jacking off to pictures of my dad. You know, shit like that. But today, you guys brought the heat. With that Capcom's birthday party and the demo for RE4. Frankly stuck. That's hype. That's some shit I could get hype about. The other shit's pretty hype too, I guess. Shredder and jacking off to your dad. Alright, cool. Hey, how about that? But the real shit, dude? Birthday party. Maybe I should go back to town and empty my wallet. I think I want to make a habit of that. And look at the merchant. Maybe he's got run walk shoes. My Sell. 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 15 gold? Uh, sell it. Sell. 18 gold. I'm rich. What can I buy from you? Uh, what are you selling? Uh, none of this shit's tight, is it? What about this this guy over here? Greetings. So from the gambling guy, does that mean you could get a unique? Ooh. Stranger. You could get a unique from this guy, huh? I can't afford it. These prices are fucked up, dude. I'll... Alright, alright. Yeah, yeah. Watch this. You'll be singing a different tune later on when I get stuff. Wow, look at these boots. Fuck that. I'm out of here. I ain't buying shit. I'll find my clothes on the ground. Alright? I'm not spending my hard-earned gold on these weak-ass duds. I'll find some dope shit in the garbage. Pepperoni still on him. And these guys are fucking hurting. With 
thing I got that vitality. Thank you. That was a good choice, chat. Thanks. I was considering getting Enduring Cry, but... Vitality, probably, if you consider the cooldown, I bet you Vitality has just as much regen as Mashing Enduring Cry. Probably more. Thanks, Marco Gentile. Oh, fuck. I might go back to... Oh, yeah. Damn. So, ideally, tomorrow... I'm gonna watch that Capcom's birthday party shit and then they'll announce the demo. But if that doesn't happen, then I'll watch the Capcom shit and then I'll play Bloodborne. That's my plan. I really like looking forward to tomorrow. Yeah, I'm giving you guys a preview of tomorrow's script. I got a point. Hey, uh, experts only, please. Where to now? Now that I got this Ellie res and this shit, maybe I should head down? I need some damage. Down and then to the left? Or... Attack speed? No. Maybe here. No. Because this gives you max res, and I'm not even going to get res capped. Axe Onslaught Mastery. Whoa, you're an expert. Onslaught. Which Onslaught? Increased effective Onslaught? Where am I going to get Onslaught from? My garage door scratched my car. I'm fucking pissed. How big of a scratch? One inch. How deep? Very deep? Mmm... Whatever, man. You know, I'll tell you this guaranteed. If you go and fix that scratch, I promise something else will happen. You'll have to learn to live with that scratch. <laughs> or hope that when you fix it, the next thing that happens will be not as bad. But... That's the way life works. It's not a hex, you stupid morons. It's advice. It's advice. You know? you That's how cars work, dude. It's a known thing about cars. You end up chasing perfection, but nothing is perfect. It'll never be perfect. There will, there will always be a flaw, and you'll always chase this shit, and you'll spend a fortune on it. It'll never end. And it'll make you lose sleep and it'll make you unhappy. You know? Look how unhappy he is now. So, like, you know? <laughs> <Thank> you. <clears throat> also, if you feel bad about, you know, a scratch on your new car, try watching these clips of Murda's channel where these random punk little cocksucking kids, they buy a Ford Mustang, brand new. They take it to the track and drive it into the fucking wall. Okay? Brand new. You know how shitty they feel? They feel like the dumbest morons on earth. And that's because they are the dumbest morons. It's just a scratch, dude. That's why that saying exists. It's just a scratch. You know? You'll be alright. I know, though. I'm with you. That sucks. Uh, the same thing happened to me with my car right when I bought it the week after I bought it a little stone flew off of a truck and bounced off of the top of my hood and it left like a half inch little mark but that's alright man it's just a beauty mark 
That's the way it is. No, you know why? Oh, I forgot about this. <clears throat> I bought my car, brand new. Um, I, I brought it home from the dealer. Right when I got home, I noticed a scratch on it that I didn't notice when I was there. I called the guy. I was like, hey, this is bullshit. Uh, I need you to fix this shit. The guy was like, oh, we don't usually do that, but it's cool. I'll fix it for you. So he, I brought the car back. He fixed the scratch. And right after that, that freeway shit happened. Right after that. And the new scratch is bigger than the old scratch. The old scratch was like nothing, but I wanted the car to be perfect. You see what I'm saying? It's, it's a brand new car. I want this car to be perfect. Well, anyway. I'm telling you, this is, you know, it's just the way it works. It's just the scratch. Dude. Just turn on your fucking massager. This little bitch has massagers in his car. Oh, you got a little scratch, amigo? Why don't you put on your massager to massage your little butt hurt little ass? You see what I'm saying? This guy needs to play ruthless. That'll teach you to appreciate what you got. Know what I mean? CT4V Blackwing. You're not gonna get many fans. <laughs> They're gonna be like, man, fuck this guy. That car is expensive, dude. And he probably got some weird ass features. Bong flashlight combo. Who knows? Enjoy the car, man. That sucks. One time I was, I, you said that your garage door damaged it. Well, I fucked up my garage door one time because I was trying to leave when the power was off. So I had to use it like a manually and then I fucked it up. So it left like a scratch on the door. Oh, I'm pissed. The door of the garage, not the door of the car. But still. That door's iconic, dude. What is this guy's problem? Invulnerability? What is that? There it is, over there. Top 10 iconic doors of all time. What the fuck do they mean, Shredder, in Call of Duty? Is Shredder gonna shoot guns? What the hell? Excuse me. That's such a Fortnite decision. Like, Shredder seems like the kind of guy that would be in Fortnite, not Call of Duty. Like, Shredder in the streets of As Af Af Afghanistan. Uh, you know, dropping claymores and shit. <laughs> Oh, that's another chromatic! Sweet! Two chromatics. Classic Shredder. Does anyone know what that guy's name is who's like the head ninja under Shredder? That bald guy. He's like the guy that commands all the lesser ninjas. <laughs> Lakari. <laughs> I'll give it up. Whoa, blacksmith's whetstone? Whoa, I got a blacksmith's whetstone. That's clutch. That could be big damage if I decide to use it, but I'm gonna keep it. It's my lucky blacksmith's whetstone. Yeah, 
It's Ono under the shredder suit at avoiding the puddle. Remember a moment ago when I looked in the chat and someone said Lokari after I asked what's that head ninja's name and I laughed out loud? Right now, reading your comment, it makes me sick. Do you understand the difference there? Your comment makes me sick. That's just about the most offensive thing you could say to me. You know that? I'm offended that you tagged me in that sorry ass joke. <clears throat> anyway, I hope you're having a good day regardless. You can't, uh, you know, you can't be good at everything and I'm sure you make some really nice munchy boxes over there. Bet you fucking, you're Fred Astaire with that deep fryer. Is my guess. Who the fuck is Fred Astaire? <laughs> you guys are bitches. Famous dancer. Those moves. He's a regular Papa John. With those dance moves. Hey, shouts out to all you Mama Johns out there. It's National Woman Day. And I'm a big fan of Mama Johns. Keep up the good work. Let me tell you, uh, it's a lot of work and sacrifice and shit being a good mom, but if you play your cards right, uh, they'll grow up and pay all your fucking bills for them. Or for you. You know? It's a good investment is what I'm saying. Don't give up. Sure, they're whack right now, but never give up. Kids cost between fourteen hundred and six thousand dollars a month. That is crazy. Not these days. Yeah, you're right. I googled it like seven days ago. It could have gone up substantially since then. Stupid bitch. Not these days. Fourteen hundred bucks all day? But that's probably like you're feeding them some some like low tier shit. You're like I don't know. You're using like a iPhone as a nanny. Sawdust porridge. Shit's pretty good. Lunchables, when I was a kid, Lunchables were fucking like la di da. My friends that had Lunchables, I used to think, look at this fucking guy. Woo, Lunchables. I used to eat school lunch because it was free because my mom's poor or was poor. You know? I used to eat school lunch. That shit was free. <laughs> Thank you. But it was still pretty good. Pizza day? I used to, like, never want to go to school ever except pizza day. I must have had perfect fucking attendance for pizza days. I would never miss... I'd be on my deathbed. Mom, I gotta go. I gotta go to school, dude. Why? Is there some kind of test today? No. It's pizza day. <laughs> on my deathbed, I'll go to school on pizza day. Gotta go to school, man. Gotta learn. School breakfast? I never could get to school early enough for that shit. School breakfast was like at 6 a.m., dude. Shit was a miracle if I even got there on time. 
Especially if I was the one getting myself to school, like if I was walking. Hell no. Yeah, excuse me. School sucks. College is way cooler, but still, it sucks. Damn, man, that guy didn't have shit. But I leveled up. <clears throat> you were a bus kid? They didn't have buses like that. Unless the bus came and picked you up from your door. The only kind of buses they had when I was a kid were the kinds where you gotta go to the bus stop. And the bus stop is like farther than the school. Like a mile. Uh, and the only other buses were like the MR buses where you gotta buckle up your helmet. Maybe you could just fake it. You know, and just get a free ride to work? Why not? I mean, to school? That, that sounds pretty smart. Like, yeah, I need a bus. I'm a moron. And then, like, just get you to school for free? Take the helmet off? Hey, what's up, bros? I don't know. I'm just, just spitballing here. Uh, thanks, Young Castro and Incredible Hulk. Thanks, Krogan. And Marco Gentile and Square Image and Fop Doodle. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> I had a college class with a Playboy Playmate and a future porn star. It ruled. How old are you, dude? How old are you? Sound like you're like 19, dude. Tell the truth. What's wrong with being 19? Uh, there is a lot wrong with being 19. If you're hanging out with a 38-year-old, I'm gonna look at you like you are a worthless bitch. And that has nothing to do with your age. Then you add your age to the mix and your chances of winning drastic go down, okay? Let me just tell you that. Uh, at sacrifice. Thanks, hooded number nine. Hey, I got two skill points. Uh, could you tell me what to do with them real quick? That would be cool. Can I get a little advice on what to do with these two? Oh, yeah. Uh, what am I doing with them again? Mm. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you the 19-year-old guy? You 11? You're out of here. This guy revealed it. 11 comments. Hey, fuck you, man. You're not wanted here. Uh, you're not welcome here, dude. Simple as that. And if you're wondering why, it's because you're 19. All right? And f your breath stinks. Stinks like fucking dicks. All right? And not just one. More than one. Stupid bitch. Fuck you. Do you understand that? Anyway... I hope you have a nice day. Um, he wasn't 19, dude. You know he's some just fucking 11 comment making. <laughs> you fucking little 11 comment making bitch. Blue name. Fuck you. Uh, anyway, yeah, man. I ain't trying to have people like you around me. Could you just... Try for a moment to imagine a world where you have the choice to not have people like yourself around you. Okay? Are you following me? You have the choice to not have people like yourself around you. You definitely would exercise that right. You would. You can't live with yourself. I know you can't. Okay? So you don't blame me. I'm sure... After explaining it to you, you understand why you were banned 
and you're not even going to submit a ban appeal. You're going to accept it. This is the way it is. And hopefully you'll learn from it and find a place where you're welcome. Some place where you have value. Here, you have no value. Anyway, fuck you, bitch. Uh, and have a nice day. Hey, uh, but before you go, do you know where I should put these two points, amigo? Uh, if you need damage, go up to or the big life node here. Attack speed and physical damage. Hmm. Born to fight into butchery on the left. Where the fuck is that? On the left? Butchery. <laughs> Thank you. That's what he was saying too. Born to fight. Attacks with melee weapons. Yeah, that's just a generic. It's not like an axe or something specific. Hey, I like that. I like that idea. I like that plan. You guys were thinking on the same page too. Up and to the left. Cha-ching. Ah, excuse me. Thanks, Desmadre. Okay. Mini boss time. That was a nice detour. Thanks for annoying me so I could yell at you. <clears throat> you know, it's so funny. If I didn't have people annoying me so I could yell at them, that would be like I'd be out of business. That's my prestige. Be like Lucari. If they never made another gotcha game again, what would Lucari do? Take away your prestige. Thank God for Sentinel. Beat this guy's ass. This guy's gonna drop something sweet. Right here. Man, regen was a great idea. Man, this guy didn't drop shit. Ooh. Three link, though? Not that I have anything to link in it. That's 20 to 31. Nah. I'm out of here. Ooh. A little quick treasure on the way out. Uh, gold doesn't make a sound effect. Oh, that's an interesting point. Gold doesn't make a sound effect. Are you sure it doesn't? Maybe it's just really uh, subtle. I'll try to pay attention. NeverSync has an item filter for it right now, but I'm on console. So, I imagine if that update happens, it will be, like, hot fixed. I'm playing on PS5. Oh, you mean to make a sound? I'm not even using a filter, dude. I'm not even making... I'm not, I'm not even using a filter. <laughs> What's there to fucking filter? The best thing I've dropped is like, I'm like, prized possession is a chromatic orb. You know? He is ass. This guy's rich. You can tell by his hat. You can tell by this guy's hat. He's got some money. Watch this. I'm about to give it up. Extremely useful item inbound right now. Whoa, double blue? They're useless though, unfortunately. I'm not even going to identify those, huh? It would be a waste. He didn't have shit, dude. The guy was broke. 
Is the PC pad support different than PlayStation? The support itself is not, and the UI changes when you use it, but when you play on PC, you still are forced to use a mouse and keyboard because of things like searching your stash or uh, trading or any kind of menuing. You still have to use a mouse and keyboard, so it sucks. What I really wish is if they had cross progression like uh, Diablo 2. <clears throat> Diablo 2, re, uh, whatever the R stands for in that shit, uh, that game's cross progression gets my nipples stiff. It's so awesome. Like, I could take that shit in the living room, fall asleep over there fucking playing it, next day move that shit to console, I mean, uh, to PC, and it's seamless. That's wonderful. What a good fucking invention that is. I think it's, like, really a shame that PoE doesn't have that. From this point on, any game that is heavily progression-based and, like, takes a long time, I think should have cross-progression on every platform that it's on. Oh, fuck. Look at this shit, dude. Gang War. Alright. We got a rare. Ah. Give it to him. Man, this guy is buff. I haven't even gotten through his energy shield. What the fuck is this guy's problem? Alright, I'm doing some damage now. God damn. Buying PoE 2 stash tabs will be fun. I mean, if the game's good, I have no problem with it. I have no problem with buying stash tabs in this game. I think the game's good. Every game is so fucking... Dude, Crash Team Racing has fucking microtransactions in it, man. Crash Team Racing. Sucks. Video games are trash. Need a luck buff for PoE 2 cross progression, thanks. Shut up, bitch. Anyway, good luck. You're wasting your luck buff on dumb shit, though. I think they are gonna add cross progression because of the way they've been changing the console version. They added PC trade and search functionality to console, but they didn't get rid of the old shit either. So it's kind of weird. I wonder if they will. They probably will eventually. Crash Team Racing got remade. The remake had microtransactions. In fact, it was so fucked up. Ooh, I got a vest. It was so fucked up because that game came out and everyone reviewed it and it didn't have any microtransactions. And then when launch day happened, they added them. They added like a store and shit. It's pretty brutal. That is hella slimy. You're going to hell for that. Uh, RF Jug is sick. Thanks for influencing me to try this. Yeah, for sure. Have fun. I'm going to identify this shirt. Uh, go for it. Whoa! Whoa! Shit! Life and Int! That's an upgrade! Uh, that's an upgrade. That also means I can use other things. Like wands and shit. But you can't use a wand with this spell. But still. That's sick. Upgrade. I like that shit, man. I really like significant droppings. The idea of, in this game, the idea that you need a loot filter also fucking annoys me a little. It's one of those things that you have to get over when you're starting to enjoy this game. Just the amount of things that drop on the floor that are worthless. That in itself is such an unwelcoming 
game design philosophy for noobs. I'm going back to town. Stay hydrated. Thanks for the reminder. <clears throat> that um, Penang curry I had yesterday is so good that I'm even thinking about it now. Penang curry. It's fucking good. It's Thai food. Mm, this weapon is actually a polio stick, you uncultured scrub. Uh-oh. Uh, chat room, excuse me. Uh, attention, everyone who's jerked off to Andario. I need to know which one of these is the right choice. Chain hook? Use chain hook for a movement skill? Sunder? What's Sunder? Shockwave? Ah, excuse me. Sunder my balls? <laughs> Shoot that guy. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, thanks, Sunny Waifu. Uh, and Crap Borg. Can I get a luck buff for a job? And non soggy chilaquiles? Yeah, man. Oh, God, I love chilaquiles. Fuck you for reminding me of that. Uh, Sunder my balls? <laughs> Alright, Sunder my balls. I got it. Uh, let's equip it. Let's see what it is. I don't even know what it do, homie. Under my balls. Alright. Let me check this guy for run walk boots. Uh hey, do these not change? You guys see him? I lost him. Didn't change. Found some yellow shoes. I think Here's I have to yellow shoes. Nice. Thanks, crab, rangoon, spicy penang. Uh you dipping? Damn, dude. I don't get crab rangoons because I I have gal and it has cr fake crab in it. Actually, you know what? I bet you crab rangoons are probably gout safe. But I wouldn't get it anyway because I haven't been eating fried food. Uh, you know, like deep fried food. But I could imagine crab rangoons inside Penang curry. I could see myself nodding to that. I can see that. Sounds really good. The cream cheese, the smooth and creamy cream cheese combined with the like acidic and flavorful curry, the spice, Penang, the duck and pineapple <laughs> one. No, no, no. This is separate, a different kind of curry. I don't even know what it is. Yesterday I was ordering drunken noodle and I thought, okay, let me just try something different. Panang curry, I got it, with chicken. It was delicious. Thanks, LVT Fade. Thanks very much. Uh, anyway, back to over there, right? Oh, I could sell stuff. Let me sell some stuff. What is Drunken Noodle? It's actually called Drunken Noodles. But some people who are uncultured, ooh, skill point, call it Drunken Noodle. Anyway, <coughs> it's Pad Key Mayo, and it's a dish. It's like a kind of like Pad C, ew, but it doesn't have broccoli in it. Instead, it has onions. I got it with no onions, though. It's called Pad Key K.O. Mayo. Or whatever the fuck it's called. I don't know what it's called, man. I've helped you as much as I'm going to help you. Armor and energy shield. And armor. Hey, look at this. This is 7 armor. This is 12 armor and 4 energy shield. Let me get... Huh? Did I just fuck up? Oh, yeah. Let me wear those. Right? They're better. 
You gotta keep your eyes peeled for upgrades. This is a chromatic orb. I'm gonna save that for a potential three to one, though I don't know if it exists. Uh, I'm not identifying that or that, and I'm selling this. Look at that, 36 gold and one chromatic orb. I'm in the money. I have a grand total net worth of two chromatic orbs. That's hype. You guys see him? I lost him. Have you had lamingtons before ATP horns? Have I had what? Lamingtons? What are those? Thanks, Severing Wang. What are lamingtons? They sound like shoes or something. Australian detected? It's an Australian snack. Can you describe it? Vegemite? I've never been to Australia. Sponge cake square with chocolate, outer layer, and coconut sprinkles! Dude, coconut sprinkles are so fucking nasty. I love coconut when it's fresh. I love coconut juice, coconut milk, but that dried dessert onion trash that they put on donuts and shit, it's fucking awful, dude. Can't stand it. I hate that stuff. I really can't. Like, it's one of the only types of dessert sweet things that I won't even eat. I'm not even gonna eat that. Hey, I just used Sunder. <laughs> Thank you. What does Sunder my balls do? Shoot out those. What does that do? Damn, man. Everyone is stingy. Thanks, Kestizo. That's Sunder? That's pretty cool. Should I use Sunder instead? It seems better. <laughs> Sunder more... Uh, maybe, maybe it has worse single target though. Gold. Oh yeah, dude. Against a group? Hell yeah, Sunder is way better. It's all about positioning too. Damn. Nice decisions, chat. Thanks for the help. I wonder what I'm gonna do without you. To like really examine the options. The ancestors watch over. Ooh, music to my ears. This song is nice. I like this song. What did I get influenced into? I'm trying to get influenced into something really good for dinner. I have leftover Thai food, but I don't want to eat that. I want to eat that for lunch tomorrow. I feel like my lunches are always um, more like about getting the job done. Just eat something. But my dinners are way more romantic. Like, I want something delicious. I don't mind having a whatever lunch, couple of eggs and an apple, whatever. That's fine. But my big dinner, that shit needs to be good. So I'll save the Thai food for lunch tomorrow, but maybe I'll get something. 
get a sub? Uh, hmm. You mean from Jersey John? I haven't gotten that in a while. Dude, Sunder is so much better. <laughs> so much better for our groups. Go with pizza? Damn, keep it fresh. I changed the button on my ancestral protector, so I keep forgetting to summon it. Ooh, blue item. Damn it, int. Int requirement. I guess I'll go this way. Meatball sub. For me, I always felt like if I was going to get a meatball sub, then I would get a chicken parmesan. I know they're not necessarily the same, but I like chicken parmesan more. There aren't any good Persian food restaurants around me. So I usually reserve Persian food for like family get togethers because my whole family likes it. Oh, my dad also buys it for me sometimes when I visit him. Uh, so that's where I get my Persian food. When was the last time you had jambalaya or gombo? Mm, I think I had some that... like <laughs> The last time I had it, I think my mom got some and gave me the leftovers and they were fucking good. But not that often, if that's what you're asking. I love Cajun food, though. <laughs> In fact, recently I've been really craving um, uh, those seafood boil types of places. Spicy lobster, seafood boil, corn and potatoes, that shit. Uh, I've been really thinking about that. Hey, did I miss a ascendancy trial around here? No, right? Let me know if I fuck something up, please. You still plan on streaming it? Oh, the restaurant? Uh, I don't know. Probably not. But I do want to go to a restaurant and stream it. But maybe not that restaurant. Because that's going to be real messy and sexual. I'm going to get wet. And that's the last thing I need you guys clipping. So, but well, maybe something a little more reasonable. I might do that. I, I ain't trying to get in trouble. That's going to be way too sexual. Go to an Italian restaurant? Uh, I'm not... I mean, I'll decide where I go. <laughs> I don't need stupid suggestions. Yeah. Excuse me. Are you talking about for dinner? That's a good suggestion for dinner, but not for uh, other shit. Today? I think that I could either eat pizza, that's good, or a salad, or... Um, actually, you know what? That salad is pretty good. There's this Tex-Mex salad that I get that's really good. It's got like... All kinds of stuff in it. I like salads with all kinds of stuff in it. It's got avocado and all kinds of stuff, you know? But that does have tortilla strips in it. And tortilla strips are deep fried. So I'm trying to not eat deep fried. But maybe I will anyway. I don't give a fuck, bitch. Don't tell me what to do, shithead. I might. We'll see. Tortilla strips are trash? Why? They're good. In the salad, they really mask the nasty parts of the lettuce, like those big stems that you bite into. It's just crunch with water in it. Crunchy ass water, nasty. <clears throat> those tortilla things really mask that nasty shit that you're bound to get in a salad from a restaurant. It's good for your butt though. Stems over leaves all day? What the fuck? You must be like a... Are you like a... What the hell? Are you like a... Some kind of rodent? 
Hey, you're a rodent. Uh, hey, thanks, Cold Frontier and Chef Zach. All right, boss time. I didn't even think about it. Fuck. Ouch. Man, vitality is Thank clutch. You. The energy shield recharge is annoying as fuck. I think this mode's pretty fucking cool so far. It's really making each little individual thing that occurs be so much more meaningful. The bosses are cooler. <laughs> Everything is cooler. But it's just because you're so fucking sick of this weak ass campaign. What a great idea. Make something so shitty and then like just make it a little bit fucking more interesting. People will appreciate anything you do to make it better. Ouch. So far, so good. Last management is going well. I'm not on phase two yet. Okay, phase two. Oh shit, this bitch has an AOE. Oh, and projectiles. I forgot. You don't even get to see this shit in the normal game. I got this. She teleports too, though. No teleport movement skill is really weird. This mode is making me want to go for a walk. Dude, use your legs, man. You may not always have them. This is totally appreciation mode. Hey, I appreciate you, chap. You're the rarest drop. Look at this DPS. I got fucked up right there. His face. Oh, two. Your curse is over, Siren. Rest with Hinecor, Damn it. The These dead. items are fucking garbage, dude. I'm gonna identify this. There's no way it's gonna be better than 12 life, 10 int, though, right? Should I? Would you identify this? It's also evasion rating. Shabby jerkin. What did that moron say earlier? He said something about it reminds me of my ex girlfriend. You know, right after I read that, I got allergies. That's the guy who gave me allergies. That shitty-ass joke. That joke sucked. That's not the Sunder guy. The Sunder guy is a hero, man. <laughs> that guy was cool. Sunder guy's a hero. Sunder ended up being a good choice, too. For clear.
I haven't actually used any gold yet. I've just been saving up. Everything is so expensive, dude, and gold is so hard to get. It almost feels like... Just wait till something really sick is available, right? Fusings are 15,000 gold each? One fusing is 15,000 gold? What did you just say? Oh my god, dude. What the fuck? Why even put it in then? Just to make fun of you? Just to make you feel like you don't have anything? <laughs> I feel like that's why they put it in. Psychologically, to create like a value to things. That's a psychological thing. Like IRL. Oh, I'm getting fucked up. We got a tough guy here. We got a little tough guy here. See how you like my ancestral protector. Ow! Hey, this guy's pushing me away from my homie. This guy's rich. Watch this. Damn, man. All he had was gold. A fiddle made of gold. I cannot carry this. Uh, damn. Three link gloves. Too bad I'll never link anything in them. Still using that polio stick? Fuck yeah, I am, man. This is the greatest item I've found. Traditional European polio stick. Hey, nice stupid fucking Link Java style. Cut that shit out, man. Other people do it and get banned. Is that funny? Oh. <laughs> ah, yes. Nice burnout. Damn. <laughs> Thank you. Damn. Damn. Hey, all right. How about that? Thanks, Edgy Bravo and Ohul. And Chef Zack and Cold Frontier. Doing burnouts. Uh, okay, next point. Uh, butchery. Hey, where do you recommend I go from here, bros? It was the chat's recommendation to move up to butchery. Now, what the fuck is this? Are you new? Yeah, I thought so. Uh, did you just create that account like you're an alt? Probably not. Account created July... 28th, 2021. So you're just an asshole. Gotcha. <laughs> hey, man. How's it going? <clears throat> in this stream, you have to apply and be accepted to be one of my fans. You can't just walk in off the street and expect to be wanted here. I know that sounds weird, but it's the way it is. And uh, let's just say, don't call us. We'll call you. You don't have the experience I'm looking for. And you are whack. Fuck you. Uh, anyway, take it easy. It says 2011. What did I say? Uh, that's what I meant. Yeah, fuck that guy. I know that. You're not telling me anything. Um, entry, pos entry level position is 10 years experience required. That's true. Or at least you have to act like it. And fit in. Like, you could lie on your resume, but it's got to be believable. Half of these motherfuckers, you know they don't know what they're talking about. They pretend. They say shit. They don't even know what they're saying. Yeah, full segment. Good one, Eris. They have no fucking idea what that is. They just don't want to get shot. You know? You got to be like them. Fit in. So I don't detect you. Uh, Thanks, Jetstream. Hey, where am I supposed to go next? Get wrapped on. I need, uh... Antario jerkers only. <laughs> Thank you. 
left through bar bar barbarism uh, into resolute technique. Left towards resolute technique. Go towards marauder start for two H nodes. I like that resolute technique idea, which is located over here. No, located over here. No. Where the fuck is resolute technique? Here? Yeah. What'd you say? Left, uh, left through here? Or are we going down? Down and then through here. Half to the elemental nose, top left for RF. Here? No. Hey, what are you talking about? <laughs> Thank you. Barbarism. Continue left on butchery. Thanks. Barbarism. Where is barbarism, though? I guess I could search. Barb. Oh, right here. Thanks. I found it. Just search. See, that would have not been possible if I was on PC. I would have had to use the mouse and keyboard. So that's why I don't play on PC. Even though they have pad support. So, I think we're going here then, right? I don't want this. So I'm just going to continue across this wheel, go through here, get this, barbarism, and then move up towards resolute technique. Good idea. <clears throat> Is it break time, Habibi? Oh, it's over break time. I've been playing for four hours already, dude. What do you mean you skipped one? Skipped one what? I'm selling this stuff. Sell it. Sell it. Sell it. Sell it. Sell, it. Sell, it. Sell, it. Sell everything. 35 bucks. Ah, excuse me. Uh, skipped the break at the three hour mark? What are you talking about? That can't be true. No way. Did I? I don't believe it. I literally skipped a break? <laughs> Thank you. How? Nah. I don't believe it for a second. <laughs> Thank you. I would feel that. I would feel like I have to take a piss and I, my ass cheeks hurt. No way. I did, huh? One, two... You're right! I did miss a break! Whoa. Don't you take a break when you feel like it? Do you realize what that would mean? Look at what just happened! You could go five hours without taking a break if you wait till you feel like it. And then what are your legs gonna tell you when they have, they're full of thrombosis? You know? You're doing something fun, you're gonna forget. You have to take breaks every hour, five minutes every hour, you fatso. All right? Trust me. Five minutes every hour. Uh, thanks, Ra Ramimaz, or whatever, and Rosero, and Surameno, and Biggie Hendrix, and Birdie. Thanks. Uh, damn, we barely even talked about dinner. I have no idea what to eat. What am I gonna eat? Pizza? Yeah, I'm gonna get pizza. Good idea. I'm getting pizza. Thanks for the suggestion. Oh, salad. 
Yeah, I'm getting salad. Good idea. I'm getting salad. Um. Uh. Hey, you guys have good advice. Get pho? Nah, I'd rather get ramen. And nah. Pho, huh? You're not trying to tell me how to pronounce something, are you? Because that would be a really big mistake. You mean to tell me it's not pronounced Muchos Garcias? Is that what you're saying? Wait a minute. You're not trying to correct me. Is that what you're doing there? Shut up, bitch. Fucking stupid asshole. Uh, anyway. Uh, yeah, maybe I'll get some pho. Nah, I'm kidding. I'd rather get, um, ramen. I like ramen better. And I specifically know a good place. Find a place. Damn, this is fun, but my butt hurts. That's fucked up. Now it hurts. Now that you guys told me. It's all psychological. It's all psychological, and that's exactly why you need to do it mathematically. Because your brain can... My butt doesn't hurt. You could not even feel your legs. They're numb from sitting down too long, and you will ignore it. That's why you have to do five minutes every hour. No exceptions. No exceptions. <coughs> Chipotle? What does that have to do with anything? Hey, tomorrow's that Resident Evil thing. I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to eat dinner and I'm going to enjoy that and potentially maybe come back later, though I don't know. There isn't. You never know. Uh, I'm going to do it. I feel it. The moment you mentioned that, my ass cheek started yelling at me in Spanish. Mm, standing up with numb legs is brutal. That only really happens to me if I take a really long and aggressive shit. Uh, then sometimes I'll get up and like collapse and hit the deck. Because I didn't realize my legs weren't working yet. Uh, but then just a little bit of moving around when you're on the ground and appreciating your legs, and you'll be back up in no time. You know what I mean? <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Dream Cancel. Can you believe I'm in Act 2, and I played for four hours, and the best thing I dropped was a fucking shirt. Blue shirt. This game mode is awesome. I'm really liking it so far. Good times. Thanks for liking my stream chat room. You guys are my most prized possession. The greatest drop of all in the real life rootless game mode. Thanks, Dream Cancel. Uh, I'm gonna go eat some dinner and enjoy the rest of my evening. I suggest you do the same. Uh, in case you didn't know, tomorrow they're <laughs> doing you. the Resident Evil birthday party and potentially may announce that the Resident Evil 4 demo is coming out right now. Download it and enjoy it at home or the room or the Rivigarumu. You understand? So, if that happens, I'm going to watch the birthday party. And if they, like, release it, I'll download it and play it. If not, Bloodborne, probably. Unless, maybe, maybe Ruthless. I don't know. We'll have to discuss it tomorrow. Either way, thanks for liking my stream, you guys. Take it easy. See ya.